Chapter 1881 Heaven flowing sacred water less than an hour after Long Chen's group of three entered the ground, countless experts arrived. They were led by Di Fang, and beside him was a large expert. It was true immortal Jiaoki of the Xuan beasts. Furthermore, not far from true immortal Jiaoki was a mysterious man wrapped in a black cloak that covered most of his face. His skin was pale like a woman's. He held a short staff just over a foot long. This man was one of the corrupt path's three kings, the one that Long Chen had not met yet, Gui Can. Speaking of Gui Can, he actually had a slight connection with Long Chen, the corrupt expert that Long Chen had previously slain. Gui Yan had been a disciple of the same family as Gui Can. However, the two of them had never met. Other than the three of them, they brought over 2,000 other disciples. They were all powerful Empyreans and they had completely locked this region down. HMPH. Did they think a little illusion formation could block us? Sneered Gui Can. His voice was sharp, and it didn't sound like a man or a woman. It raised goosebumps. He waved his staff, and the air shook. The illusion faded away, revealing the true appearance of the cave. The three of them advanced. They had just approached the cave entrance when a flash of light came from within that caused them to raise their guard. However, after that flash of light, nothing else happened. Instead, a stone tablet appeared. Defang, does your face hurt? What does that mean? True immortal Jiaoki frowned in confusion. Boom. Defang slammed the stone tablet with a hand, blowing it to bits. Defang was ashen. He knew that Long Chen and Mo Nian were intentionally humiliating him. This stone tablet was no mechanism. They had made him lose face in front of everyone. The stone dust of the tablet spread through the air, covering everyone. It had the slightest odor to it. However, seeing how furious Di Feng was, no one said anything. They didn't know that danger had already enveloped them. True immortal Jiaoki and Gui can also didn't say anything. They had clearly guessed something. Someone, go inside and take a look. If you find Long Chen and the others, don't attack. Send out a hidden transmission. Order Defung darkly. A dozen experts immediately charged into the cave. They quickly found the cave that Mo Nian had left. They followed the loose soil downward. Upon seeing that path, Defeng's expression improved slightly. At the very least, this meant that Long Chen and Mo Nian were searching for the treasures. With such an army searching for the two of them, they wouldn't be able to escape. When they saw that Mo Nian had purposely erased their path to stall them, Di Feng was even more at ease. This was perfect. It meant Mo Nian was still rushing and trying to slow them down. They quickly dug down, eventually finding the gate to the tomb. Di Feng smiled cruelly. True immortal Jiaoki and Gui can also smiled. Their biggest goal in coming to the Yun Yang world was Long Chen. Now they had finally trapped him. How could they not be delighted? True immortal Jiaoki was especially delighted. Last time. He hadn't managed to get a single feather in the nest. He had even been attacked by black hands protecting the nest and had almost been killed. His hatred of Long Chen had reached a peak. Let's go. Has Long Chen jumped into his own tomb? Di Feng led the path into the gate. The stone gate slowly opened for Long Chen's group of three. What greeted them wasn't an aura of death and decay. Instead, the air was tranquil and vibrant. Following the path. They saw a verdant forest in just a few miles. Birdsong and wild flowers were everywhere. It was a land of beauty. This is actually its own world, exclaimed Mo Nian. Even with all his experience, this was his first time encountering such a scenario. This kind of minor world should normally collapse after the death of its master. But there is one scenario that can let it exist for longer, said Yu Ziaokian as she looked around. By burying everything within the minor world, turning it into a natural cycle of the heavenly deos, said Long Chen, his heart skipping a beat. Yes, most likely. Otherwise, this kind of minor world would not be able to exist on its own, and all life within it would have withered. The master of the tomb created their own cycle of reincarnation, allowing life to die and be born again. They exist within an unending cycle, said Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian knelt down and extended a hand to a squirrel carrying an acorn. It looked at her curiously and actually jumped onto her hand. However, 
Just as Yu Ziaokian was going to gently pet it, it nimbly jumped away, vanishing amongst the trees. Continuing deeper, they arrived at a lake. There was a floating bridge leading to an island on the lake. There was only one path through this minor world, and the three of them followed it. When they approached the lake, Yu Ziaokian's expression suddenly changed. She hastily shouted, It's heaven flowing sacred water. Be careful. Boom. However, her warning was too late. Long Chen had already stepped onto the bridge. Huge ripples spread through the lake, and Long Chen immediately became still. Mo Nian was startled. He was about to pull Long Chen back when Yu Ziaokian stopped him. It's useless. He's already activated the heaven flowing sacred water. He is seeing the future now. What? It's possible to see the future, exclaimed Mo Nian. Yes, this expert was most likely someone proficient in the heavenly fate Tao. After dying, they merged their soul with this world. Having this world enter its own reincarnation cycle, it can count as an undying state. This heaven-flowing sacred water is like a mirror. If you aren't on guard, you might see your future. For a person to see their own future can cause the collapse of their Dao heart. I wonder how Long Chen is doing. Yu Ziaokian was a bit worried. The significance of life was that it was full of possibilities. Full of unknowns. People thirsted to learn the future. But once they knew it, there was no longer any delight in living. When a person learned how and when they were going to die, it might dishearten them completely. Which could be a fatal blow to one's Dao heart. Which was why people should never try to read their future. Once they did. They would lose their drive and end up completely crippled. Then let me see who my future wife is. That should be no problem. Mo Nian smiled and actually spread his consciousness toward the lake. Once again, ripples spread across the lake. Mo Nian was suddenly filled with bitterness. It's over. There's no hope for me in this lifetime. Suddenly, the lake erupted and nine whirlpools appeared, making Mo Nian and Yu Ziaokian jump. Those nine whirlpools caused the lake water to rapidly sink. In just a breath, all the water vanished. At this point, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes with a smile. What is it? Are you fated to be a bachelor for this lifetime? Fuck off. How could a handsome man like me end up being a bachelor forever? Oh, you're all right. Asked Mo Nian. Were you worried Long Chen shook his head? Did you not see the end of your life? Asked Yu Ziaokian. Without any guard. Everyone would long to know their future. They wanted to know how long they would live and how they would die. I did. I saw endless darkness. Endless death. A world of eternal darkness without the slightest shred of light. TCH. Did I need it to help me see that? Once people are dead, their eyes stop working. So isn't it naturally pitch black? I was hoping to see more through the darkness. But then everything vanished. Said Long Chen helplessly. Hearing that. Yu Ziaokian sighed with relief. The thing she had been worried about the most was Long Chen seeing his own death, or seeing his brothers and lovers die. That would become a nightmare for him. Mo Nian, what did you? Asked Long Chen. Lu Zongying, said Mo Nian bitterly. Both of you are childhood sweethearts. Isn't ending up together very good? Why be so sad? The main thing is I'll only have her in this lifetime. My dreams of having three concubines and four wives are over, cried Mo Nian. Is such a matter worth crying over? Long Chen shook his head. That's easy for you to say. You have women to hold on your left and right. I, on the other hand, get beaten all day. Don't cry. This is a tomb, and you're not a descendant of the person buried inside, said Long Chen. We're at the end of the path. Where should we go? How am I supposed to know? This isn't the structure a tomb should have. It's all messed up. Let's just walk around randomly. It seemed Mo Nian had not yet recovered from the impact. All right. Fate is something you hold in your own hands. Something like this is just a scam used to trick children. Said Long Chen. Did you really fall for it? Ah, that's right. My Mo family needs to grow and spread its wings. For my Mo family's future growth. I will definitely overcome my fate and marry even more women than you, declared Mo Nian. It's my first time hearing someone capable of making sex sound so pure. Long Chen shook his head. The two of you should stop messing around. I can sense movement above us. Di Feng has probably returned. So we should hurry up, said Yu Ziaokian. We shouldn't view this place as a tomb. 
This place is clearly a garden. We should quickly look around and see if the senior left behind any inheritances. Furthermore, there are no mechanisms here, so the master of the tomb is clearly waiting for a destined person to enter. We should see which one of us is that destined person. Long Chen and Mo Nian became more serious. The three of them spread out, flying around. However, their surroundings were just mountains and lakes. Everything was thriving with life. They didn't see anything special. There's a building up ahead. Suddenly, they saw a tall mountain. Clouds revolved around the mountain. They could vaguely see a palace within the clouds. Chapter 1882 A two-man con group The exterior of the palace was simple and elegant. It was 300 meters tall and was built at the peak of the mountain. It was surrounded by immortal mist, and there was a certain sound coming from within it. It seemed to be the music of a grand Dao. The three of them hastily rushed over to the palace. When they were standing in front of it, they found that every brick and tile had runes flowing through them. It was a majestic and grand sight. These are formation runes that led to the outside world. They're absorbing some of the outside world's energy to maintain this world's reincarnation. Clearly, the master of this world was not at the level of creating a completely independent and complete world, said Yu Ziaokian after examining the runes. Mo Nian and Long Chen nodded. This palace was emitting an aura identical to the outside world. It was absorbing the outside world's energy to nourish this world. This was why the master of this world had placed this minor world within a place of such great feng shui. They walked over to the gates and found that no matter how they pushed, they couldn't open them. There was a vast energy preventing them from entering. This is troublesome. These gates have a mechanism, and it requires a huge amount of pure spiritual yuan to open. The three of us combined don't have enough spiritual yuan, said Mo Nian after studying the runes. Yu Ziaokian nodded. These are the nine drake gate locking runes. To open the gates requires a huge amount of spiritual yuan, and there's no way the three of us have close to enough. He, I've got it. Long Chen and Mo Nian looked around. Their sights fell on two divine statues. A wicked chuckle rang out. Defang, true immortal Jiaoki, Gui Can, and all the experts that they had brought charged into this minor world. As soon as they entered, they were dumbfounded. They had thought that this place was a tomb, but it actually appeared full of life. When they arrived at the bridge, someone said, There used to be a lake here, but the water's gone. It seems that Mo Nian and Long Chen have already taken it. It doesn't matter. They'll have to spit it out in the end. We've already placed a formation on the exit. They won't be able to escape, sneered someone else. Other than Di Fang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Can. There were 2,400 Empyreans. They were all experts amongst experts. On the level of Empyreans who had begun awakening their manifestations, Long Chen and Mo Nian would only be faced with death once they were surrounded. These people were mostly Di Fang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Ken's followers. The three of them viewed these people with favor, so their power was definitely great. Not only was there a grand formation protecting the place that they had entered from, but there were 300 experts left guarding it. Even a fly wouldn't be able to escape. Let's go. We won't let those bastards ruin the treasures. Defang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui can rapidly advanced and quickly saw the palace. With a shout, all the experts surrounded it. They had just arrived when a beam of divine light soared into the sky from the palace. It was like it had sensed their arrival and come to life. Defang, true immortal Jiaoki and Gui can immediately became still, circulating their spiritual yuan in defense. Unbeknownst to them, Yu Ziaokian was on top of the two mythological beast statues in front of the gates to the palace. The devil character was shining on her forehead, and the light from it enveloped her, Long Chen, and Mo Nian. She was using a secret art of the original devil race to conceal them. Mo Nian's hands were pressed against one of the statues. His spiritual yuan activated its divine runes, causing the palace to light up. It was like the palace was greeting the newcomers. The Grand Dao is formless. The Grand Dao is emotionless. Those who pass these gates must have destiny. The formless Grand Dao shines brightly at its end. The emotionless Grand Dao is one and separate. Defang, true immortal Jiaoki, 
and Ji Yui Ken had just arrived when divine chanting filled the air. The music of a grand da rang out. The voice continued to ring out through the air. Those who pass my gates must show their karma, good or evil, right or wrong. Mo Nian was constantly sending spiritual yuan into the statue. As he watched Long Chen spout nonsense to con these people, he almost laughed. Despite knowing it was clearly a con, he almost believed it himself. On the other hand, Yu Ziaokian was tense. If these people noticed something off, the three of them would be doomed. Long Chen's voice was not actually his own. It was going through the heaven flipping seal, making the voice deeper, stronger, and divine sounding. A few experts immediately tried to push open the gates. As a result, the gates runes lit up, forcing them back. Just at this moment, Long Chen's divine voice rang out once more. The destined people have already entered. Others are lacking destiny and require spiritual yuan to activate the nine drake gate locking runes. If you cannot open the gates, then you have no destiny at all. If you can open the gates, be devout of heart and pay respects to the divine statues to accept your blessing. Nine drake gate locking runes? Those are ancient type divine runes. They require a huge amount of spiritual yuan to open, said an expert from the ancient family alliance. It seems Long Chen and Mo Nian have already entered. We can't wait any longer. If the two of them obtain a complete inheritance and gain the protection of the tomb, it will be difficult to kill them here, said Ji Yui Ken darkly. Di Feng frowned. He felt like something was off, but he couldn't say what exactly. True immortal Jiaoki waved his hand, and the experts from his side came out. The first one pressed his hand against the stone gate while the second pressed his hand against the back of that person, forming a chain. All those experts began to pour their spiritual yuan in. Following them, Ji Ken's experts also took action. Seeing that, Di Feng could only gesture to his subordinates to follow along. Other than their own followers, others had also come. Those people had come with the purpose of killing the experts stubbornly clinging to the Martial Heaven Alliance out of loyalty. This was an opportunity to deliver a heavy blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance. As for the treasures, they would obtain them conveniently. Over 2,000 experts began pouring their spiritual yuan into the gates. Their runes lit up, growing brighter and brighter. With everyone working hard, the gates slowly began to shudder. More, the gates are about to open. Shockingly, these gates, which had looked to open left and right, were opening upward. The gate slowly began to rise. Why is it so slow? That person's voice quivered. Quite a few people were sweating. Their spiritual yuan was rapidly being sucked away. In just a couple breaths time, they had used up the majority of their spiritual yuan. Activate your manifestations. All the experts activated their manifestations, sucking up the energy of heaven and earth to replenish their spiritual yuan. However, there were so many of them that there wasn't much energy for each of them to absorb. Hold on. It's about to open. There was almost a foot thick opening now. A bit more and it would be possible to squeeze through. However, true immortal Jiaoki's expression was dark. His body was too big to enter such a small hole. When the opening was two feet wide, Di Feng and Ji Yui Ken were capable of entering. But they didn't yet. It wasn't because they were righteous but because they were worried that Long Chen and Mo Nian were inside, waiting to sneak attack them. Waiting for all three of them to enter was safer. The experts were pale. Some of them were on the verge of collapse. Suddenly, a figure appeared out of midair, charging through the three feet wide opening. It's her. Upon seeing that figure, Di Feng's expression changed. He immediately recognized that it was Yu Ziaokian. Where do you think you're going? Yu Ziaokian had just entered when two figures rapidly followed. They were so fast that it was impossible to see their faces. Long Chen, Mo Nian, both true immortal Jiaoki and Di Feng let out startled cries upon recognizing them. It's been hard on you. Let me give you a gift as thanks. Mo Nian laughed, his bow appearing in his hand. Boom. An arrow exploded in front of the gate. Those closest to the gates were directly blown to bits. With those experts slain, the others lost their connection to the gates, and the flow of spiritual yuan came to a stop. The gates instantly shot, shaking the entire palace. Bastards. We were duped. Di Feng clenched his teeth furiously. 
He had felt that something was wrong, and now he knew that Long Chen and Mo Nian had been conning them. They had actually used all of them to open the gates and snuck in. Fuck. One of the Xuan Beast experts roared furiously. His divine hammer viciously struck the gates. Be careful. Di Feng's expression suddenly changed. But it was too late. Boom. Light exploded out of the gates. The divine item in that expert's hand exploded. The fragments of the divine item blasted through the surrounding experts. Their spiritual yuan was almost exhausted. And caught off guard. They were struck. Over 30 experts were slain by the fragments combined with the divine power of the gates. Di Feng. True immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui Ken's expressions darkened. This was a naked insult. Have the people guarding the entrance come over. Also, send out a request for reinforcements. Di Feng gave orders grimly. He had to hurry. Chapter 1883 Profound Spirit Tao Scripture Long Chen and Mo Nian high fived, laughing. They hadn't expected things to go so smoothly. Long Chen, this con of yours almost made me believe it too. Amazing, praised Mo Nian. It's all thanks to your cooperation. To make all the runes of the palace seem to echo my voice. That's really amazing. Long Chen chortled. Mo Nian's cooperation had made things practically seamless. It was only as good as you. You're too courteous. Ha 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 ha. The two of them began to laugh again. As if they had just had a major victory. Seeing them like this. Yu Ziaokian also couldn't help smiling. These two were like children. Acting like conning others was some particular accomplishment. He, I really want to see what the three of them look like now, said Mo Nian. That's right. Who was that fellow who looked not man nor woman back there? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian's lips curled. That fellow is Gui Can, one of the corrupt path's three kings. He's an irritating fellow. He specializes in spiritual attacks and is very difficult to deal with. I once had a fight with him and he actually raises evil bugs within his body. I almost ended up vomiting. He's just that disgusting. Ugh. Let's not talk about him. I can't bear it. Just be careful of his spiritual attacks. Long Chen nodded. So he was one of the corrupt path's three kings. No wonder he had been capable of standing alongside Di Feng and true immortal Jiaoki. Now he had seen all of the three kings. Zi Luo, Ming Ji Ye, and Ji Yui Can. It seemed that the corrupt path viewed killing him as a must this time. They had sent three experts on that level at once. As the three of them entered the palace, the originally dim palace suddenly lit up, revealing a statue. It was a statue of a thin man who looked to be a scholar. His face was relaxed and content, as if he stood aloof from the world of mortal affairs. It's an ascender, exclaimed Yu Ziaokian. The so-called ascenders were ones whose souls had left the coils of their mortal husks to become gods or immortals. This statue was surrounded by divine light, giving off a holy feeling. He almost looked like a real person, but his skin had a jade-like luster to it. Having entered my home, you must have destiny with me. It's nice to meet you, little friends. Suddenly, the statue transformed into motes of light. Within that light was the scholarly man. He looked alive and spoke to them. Long Chen, Mo Nian, and Yu Ziaokian all jumped, looking in shock at him. Senior, can I ask if you are an ascender? Asked Yu Ziaokian. Ascension? No, I didn't have the power to ascend, because I was sick of everything about this world. I buried myself here. I left a portion of my inheritance, leaving a strand of my soul to guard it. What you are seeing is just a wisp of my soul said the scholarly man. He smiled, but that smile seemed a bit forlorn. Senior, I heard someone say that ascension is a scam. Is that true? Asked Long Chen. The scholarly man looked at Long Chen calmly and didn't reply immediately. Instead, after a moment's observation, he suddenly smiled. So a gamma breaker has come to my place. How unexpected. Then there's no need for any trial. I'll give you my inheritance. The scholarly man closed his eyes and suddenly transformed into golden dust that surged toward the top of the palace. From that location, a pillar of light descended right through the center of the palace. At the same time, chanting began to ring out. This is the profound spirit Taoist scripture. It can absorb heaven and earth's energy and transform it into any other kind of energy, exclaimed Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen was delighted. 
Then you should hurry and accept the inheritance. That way, you'll be able to use your full power even outside the skyscraping world. But, Yu Ziaokian looked at Mo Nian. She wasn't so shameless as to automatically accept this treasure. This kind of technique is useless to the two of us. You should hurry up, said Mo Nian. This cultivation technique truly didn't suit the two of them, but it was extremely important for her. Most importantly, she even knew the name and origins of this inheritance. She was clearly the best pick. Yu Ziaokian nodded and walked into that pillar of light. Soft light enveloped her. She sat down within it. Bursts of light transformed into a lotus flower throne for her to sit on, making her look like a goddess. Boom. Suddenly, the gates blew open. Difang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui Ken came charging in. Long Chen, Mo Nian, face your deaths. Furious roars rang out as powerful experts charged over to the two of them like an angry flood. There were over 3,000 of them now. They had sent out a call for reinforcements that had summoned all the nearby experts. These 3,000 experts had managed to fully open the gates and charge in. Upon seeing Yu Ziaokian within the light, their eyes turned green. Kill. Defang. True immortal Jiaoki and Ji Yui Ken were about to unleash powerful attacks when they suddenly became still. Divine light had wrapped around their bodies, and their cultivation bases were sealed. They were unable to unleash any magical arts or battle skills. True immortal Jiaoki had been the furthest. He had unleashed a powerful punch at Long Chen, and Long Chen had been planning on receiving it with his own fist. However, just as the two of them were about to clash, divine light enveloped and separated them. A no fighting zone. Everyone was shocked. It was actually impossible to use martial might within this space. This kind of restriction was something they had only heard of in Legends. One of the corrupt experts tried to charge into the pillar of light, but it rejected him, sending him flying away. There was no way to enter the light. Long Chen and Mo Nian were delighted by this. They had been worried about others trying to disturb Yu Ziaokian, but now it seemed that they didn't need to worry about it. Ha ha ha, how coincidental to run into you here. Are you all doing well? Mo Nian waved to Difang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui Ken as if they were old friends. The three of them were ashen with suppressed fury. What coincidence. All of them had been conned outside. They wanted to tear Mo Nian and Long Chen to pieces. Seeing them smiling so brightly, they felt like their lungs would explode. Long Chen, Mo Nian, you're actually colluding with this demon woman of the original devil race in an attempt to topple my ancient family alliance. From today onward, there will be no place for you two on the Martial Heaven continent. Anyone related to you will be annihilated. I wonder if you'll still be able to smile then, shouted Di Fang. That's right. The Martial Heaven Alliance might very well have participated in this collusion. And of course, there's no doubt that the Zhuanshan Dao sect was part of it. They must be destroyed. Killed to the last. Roared true immortal Jiaoki. Following their lead, the other experts added in their own comments. Long Chen and Mo Nian became the targets of everyone's criticism. You're so laughable. Why can't I smile? The two of us chased down this expert from the original devil race for the safety of the Martial Heaven continent. We spilled so much blood and sweat, risking our lives to defeat her. To do this, we've crossed high mountains and deep lakes, torn our way through thistles and thorns, and finally trapped her here. Just as we're about to succeed, you come barging your way in? What? Are you trying to take our success? Nice try, sneered Long Chen. Bullshit. You're clearly with that demon woman. You're the one spouting bullshit. Do you have any proof? Long Chen turned his nose up in disdain. Just the fact that you would save her is proof enough. When did I ever save her? I attacked Di Feng because he bullied my brother. It was revenge. Once Di Feng fled like a dog, we started chasing her down. Did you ever hear me say a word to her? Did you see me fight alongside her? No, you didn't. But did you see her enter first and us chase after her? People like us. Handsome men overflowing with looks and intelligence. Wisdom and heroism. Loyalty and righteousness. Style and elegance have actually been turned into fiends that want to topple the continent by your words. It seems all your hearts are filled with darkness, selfishness, wickedness, and resentment. To actually want to slander us. 
Two brothers. The only thing that can be said is that you're all trash. Brother, your words are entirely correct. I'll testify for you. Don't worry, we won't be affected by such shaky evidence. No, it can't even be called evidence. Anyone who tries to slander us is insulting the concept of justice and committing blasphemy against the heavenly deos, a betrayal against the martial heaven continent. It's being disrespectful to the gods. Mo Nian was even more exaggerated, turning the two of them into godlike existences. Shut up. Who do you think you are to compare to gods? No matter what you say, the three thousand of us all say that you are colluding with that woman of the original devil race. It's iron proof roared an expert from the Schwen Beasts. He wanted to turn the two of them into pulp, but there was some kind of mysterious energy making it impossible for them to use martial force. Even their divine items were restricted. Otherwise, they would have long since torn through the two of them. Long Chen, no matter what lies you spout, it's useless. We all saw it, and that's our evidence. This is reality, and even if it's not the truth, it becomes the truth sneered true immortal Jayaoki. Did you record that? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian nodded. Yup, it's all recorded. Clearly, the two of them had just been waiting for true immortal Jayaoki's words. This was admitting to framing them. Hearing this, true immortal Jayaoki was infuriated. He had been used again. He was about to burst into curses when the entire palace shook. The pillar of light enveloping Yu Ziaokian grew even brighter. Chapter 1884 Mo Nian Singing Translator Born to be within the pillar of light, Yu Ziaokian actually began to chant an ancient scripture. She had no control over the matter. As she chanted, her voice was like immortal music shaking people to their deepest core. Each of their minds quivered. At the same time, immortal runes began to appear in the air, echoing her voice. It was like a grand Tao had descended. It bathed people's souls, increasing their comprehension. This is a precious scripture. Quick, try to comprehend as much as you can. The experts present were delighted. Just hearing a few words had made them feel like their hearts had been purified. If they could comprehend any part of this scripture, it could benefit them endlessly. Long Chen looked at Yu Ziaokian. She was in a strange state, unaware of what was happening outside. By chanting this scripture, she was essentially making a portion of it public knowledge. Long Chen and Mo Nian exchanged a glance. With a slight nod, Mo Nian immediately began a loud ruckus. Fellow countrymen, young and old, during this special day, I will give you a grand display. Everyone, clap along, shed your fetters and dance. As he spoke, Mo Nian suddenly took out a string of bells, hanging it all over his body. These bells were actually a divine item he had obtained from a corrupt expert. He had a total of 18 bells. This divine item was used for bewildering other people's minds and souls. Each shake would release an ear-piercing sound straight into a person's soul. Mo Nian had used quite a bit of effort killing that corrupt expert. Because these bells were too irritating, he had been unable to concentrate. He had ended up missing his first two shots before killing him with his third arrow. After obtaining them, Mo Nian hadn't known what to do with them, but now he knew. Mo Nian began to dance, and it was less than impressive. He was like a spasming duck. The bells hanging off him released a sonorous sound that stabbed into people's ears like needles. Their heads became dizzy. Mo Nian seemed uncontrollably excited and began to sing. Beat the drums and strike the gongs. Let's all be happy. Today is such a beautiful day. A perfect day for dancing and singing. Mo Nian wasn't a singer from the start. As soon as he opened his mouth, the rhythm and tune were so far off that they were in the eastern wasteland. But it seemed like he himself didn't notice at all. He was immersed in the delight of performance. As he sang, he was accompanied by Long Chen's special musical combination. He had an axe in his left hand and some claws in his right hand. He ground the claws against the axe, releasing a screeching sound. That sound was enough to make a person's soul flee from their body. Stop. People howled as they covered their ears. Let alone trying to comprehend the scripture. They even felt like their heads would explode. That's right. Everyone stand and dance. We're all friends. So release your emotions. Scream and shout to your heart's desire. The heavenly deos might be emotionless. But people aren't. Jump and dance. Everybody. Dance. 
Mo Nian pointed at the infuriated experts, encouraging them, dance, dance. Mo Nian sang and danced while Long Chen accompanied him. Long Chen's own body was quivering as he was almost unable to bear it. The sound of these claws dragging across the axe was not something an ordinary person could endure. However, seeing these people be so infuriated that their eyes were scarlet, Long Chen felt like everything was worth it. Their cooperation was practically a dance of devils, a wail of ghosts, and a howl of wolves. Other than Yu Ziaokian within the light pillar who wasn't affected, everyone else was going insane. Fuck. I'll go all out. Finally, someone lost their patience and charged at Long Chen. He wanted to snatch away the two divine items in his hands. The noise coming from them was enough to kill someone. After all, the rubbing of divine items contained its own divine power. Closing the senses was useless. That sound made people feel like there was a cat scratching the inside of their heads. It wasn't exactly painful or itchy, but it was enough to make people want to die. Over ten experts charged over, wanting to put a stop to the two of them. However, as soon as they got close, they were forced back by a mysterious force. Finally, the atmosphere's getting better. Yes, just like this. Dance and shout. Use your emotions to show the world your hot blood. Use your lives as a recollection of your lost innocence. Mo Nian excitedly urged them on upon seeing them being blocked. Someone finally reached their limit and coughed up a mouthful of blood. These two were clearly trying to cause trouble, but there was nothing they could do. Long Chen, do you not want to hear the immortal scripture? No, it's fine if we don't hear it. It's all good as long as you do. The two of us will make sure to create the right environment, while the rest of you comprehend the scripture. No need to thank us. Just do your best. We do it voluntarily, so there's no fee. Long Chen paused for a moment to say this before continuing his accompaniment. Bastards, I'll kill you, you pieces of shit. If you don't want to listen then fine, but how can you not let others listen? Furious roars rang out. That immortal scripture's significance was extremely great, capable of changing their lives. However, this opportunity was being ruined by Long Chen and Mo Nian. The two of them completely ignored their rage, continuing to put on a performance that made them dizzy. They immersed themselves in the immortal music. Long Chen, the fact that we could become brothers was truly fortuitous. We work so well together. I feel like our music is even on the same level as the Zither Fairies said Mo Nian proudly. When it comes to technique, we're still a bit inferior, but when it comes to pure innovation and originality, we've reached the peak. I feel like we're definitely one level greater, said Long Chen. Fuck off. I can't bear it any longer. Finally, someone admitted defeat. He actually ran out of the palace. As soon as he was out, he began to vomit. His head was spinning, and he almost collapsed. Mo Nian and Long Chen's performance could practically be called soul-devouring devil music. People with weak spiritual strength were quickly reaching their limit. This wasn't all just thanks to how amazing Long Chen and Mo Nian's music was. It was also due to the power of the divine runes hanging in the air from Yu Ziaokian's scripture chanting. The power of those runes was surging into their minds to help them comprehend the scripture. Originally. The master of this world was very peaceful and didn't like fighting. He wished to deliver this world from its suffering. The scripture being chanted right now was part of the inheritance he had given to Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian was in a meditative state and unaware that she was chanting the scripture to benefit everyone present. If the palace was peaceful, people would gain quite a bit from this opportunity. This was the good fortune the master of this place had left behind. However, this fortune had been ruined by Long Chen and Mo Nian. At the same time as it became easier to receive the immortal scripture, it also became easier to receive their ruckus. It was like a person wanted water to drink, and when they opened their mouths, a clear stream flowed in along with muddy water. There was no way for them to reject or isolate the sound coming from Long Chen and Mo Nian. Those with weak spiritual strength were about to flee. Even those with strong spiritual strength were dizzy feeling like their heads would split open. More and more experts ran from the palace. As soon as they were out, they felt much more comfortable. Bastards. I refuse to believe that they can hide inside for a lifetime. Once they come out, 
I'll definitely take my bite out of their flesh. Outside the palace, the immortal scripture and the ruckus were blocked. The sounds only affected the people inside the palace. With each passing moment, more and more experts were forced to run out. Unable to comprehend the scripture, no one was willing to stay within and torment themselves. All who left were gloomy, flames about to spurt from their eyes. They looked at Long Chen and Mo Nian who were still performing, and furious veins bulged on their foreheads. They sat down, waiting for the two of them to come out. Di Fang, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui Ken were peak experts with powerful spiritual strength. However, even though they could resist the noise coming from the two of them, they were unable to calm down enough to comprehend the scripture. The three of them coldly glared at the two before also leaving. They didn't say a word, but the killing intent in their eyes was starting to condense frost. If looks could kill, Long Chen and Mo Nian would have died a thousand times over. Seeing Di Fang, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui can all leave. The 1,000 experts that were still bitterly enduring lost any motivation to hold on and also left. Long Chen's axe and claws fell to the ground. Mo Nian also put away his bells. The world returned to calm. In all my life, this is the first time feeling silence is such a blessing. Sighed Mo Nian. Agreed. Long Chen bitterly smiled. If it hadn't been for those people's furious gazes, he himself wouldn't have been able to endure so long. This kind of work wasn't for humans. Yu Ziaokian's voice was also fading. The runes in the palace began to dim. In the end, the light pillar also faded. The palace lost its original grand aura and rapidly decayed. It seems. We're about to have to work. Mo Nian looked at the crack slowly spreading across the walls. His lips curled. Suddenly, the ground caved in and the entire palace collapsed. A giant figure charged in with a halberd. Long Chen. I'll tear you to shreds, roared true immortal Jiaoki. Chapter 1885 Killin Power Translator Born to be the inheritance had come to an end. Having lost its purpose, the palace collapsed, its divine marks crumbling. It was like millions of years of decay occurred in just a few seconds. True immortal Jiaoki charged through the collapsing palace, blowing it to bits. Breaks over, Long Chen slash Devil Moon out. With his divine ring present behind him, he activated his five-star battle armor and green dragon battle armor. Boom. Evil Moon met true immortal Jiaoki's halberd, following which a spear pierced toward Long Chen's ribs. Di Feng had also charged in. However, his spear had just stabbed forward when a five-colored bow forced him back. Di Feng, last time, my corpse poison let you be arrogant. This time, we'll see who defeats who. Mo Nian launched nine consecutive arrows, arcing through the air. They came at him from different angles. Like nine bolts of lightning, they forced him back time and time again. HMPH, then let's have a showdown today. Di Feng's spear began to blaze with divine light as he activated its power. A gate to another world appeared within his manifestation. He was using a paragon art. A paragon art? I have one as well. My Mo family's inheritance is even greater than your D family. When it comes to competing with Paragon Arts, you're just a rookie. Mo Nian's Yuan spirit lit up. The two figures within his manifestation separated, revealing a bow between them. It was a five-colored bow that looked identical to Mo Nian's five-element sun hunting bow. However, this bow didn't exist in this world. The five-element sun hunting bow blazed with light. Its divine power skyrocketed and an arrow shot out with the power to destroy heaven and earth. HMPH, if your Mo family was actually powerful, it wouldn't have been destroyed. You're just a stray dog. Di Feng also unleashed his paragon art. His spear pierced forward. Boom. The two attacks collided, filling the sky with blazing light. Destroyed? Aren't I still here? My Mo family will definitely rise once more. As for you, Di Feng. You're just one stepping stone on my path of vengeance. Mo Nian unleashed a barrage of attacks with his bow. He was wild and domineering without the slightest trace of the western wretch. You talk big, but I'll be the one killing you today. Di Feng also unleashed waves of spear images. They took the form of a lotus in full bloom. Its petals slicing toward Mo Nian. You're the one talking big. Tell me, does your face hurt? Sneered Mo Nian. Die. Di Feng was instantly provoked. 
Long Chen's slap in the face was his life's greatest humiliation. Di Feng and Mo Nian began a wild clash. They had already fought three intense battles and were already familiar with each other's moves. There was no need for them to use any testing blows. On the other side, Long Chen was also in an intense clash. Evil Moon was unleashing explosive power, while the 72 dragon teeth were like 72 experts attacking at the same time. The dragon teeth were incredibly sharp, and even a Xuan beast's body was unable to block them. True Immortal Jiaoki had no choice but to be careful. Long Chen's fight with True Immortal Jiaoki had just started when a black light shot toward Long Chen's back. Ji Yui Ken had joined in. Long Chen snorted and directed one of the dragon teeth to block it. However, just as the black light was about to strike the dragon tooth, it curved and flew by it before continuing toward Long Chen. Ten dragon teeth lined up a wall and smashed into the black light. Boom. The black light splintered, transforming into countless figures. Those figures were actually thumb-sized beetles. They filled the sky, startling Long Chen. They were protected by something on their bodies that made it so the dragon teeth hadn't killed them from the impact. Using the dragon teeth to block true immortal Jiaoki, Long Chen unleashed a barrage of attacks with Evil Moon, unleashing saber images throughout the sky. Those beetles were blown apart upon contact with the saber images. Only now did Long Chen notice a strange kind of rune on them that could weaken the impact of any attacks they received. It was no wonder the dragon teeth hadn't killed them. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's saber quivered and the saber images vanished. True immortal Jiaoki's kill and halberd had managed to force its way through the dragon teeth to attack him. At this time, Long Chen noticed that the armored drake in true immortal Jiaoki's manifestation had vanished replaced by a giant killin' figure. Its roar shook the heavens, and true immortal Jiaoki's power instantly erupted to an inconceivable level. Long Chen was knocked back a step. All of a sudden, a sharp pain came from his left shoulder. Startled, Long Chen looked to see a black beetle had actually reached him and was biting his shoulder. Even while covered in dragon scales, the black beetle was able to pierce his flesh with a mosquito's needle-like mouth. Long Chen felt his shoulder go numb. Without hesitation, Long Chen sliced off a large piece of flesh from his shoulder, sending the beetle flying. Long Chen was startled by the black beetle. It was definitely troublesome. If he got bitten in his vitals, it would be even worse. I'll get rid of him first. Long Chen ignored true immortal Jiaoki and charged toward the distant Gui Can. Where do you think you're going? I'm your opponent shouted true immortal Jiaoki. His halberd's light intensified, and he sent it piercing at Long Chen. As for Gui Can, he sneered disdainfully. Long Chen, you're only at this level? You'll be dying at my hands today before he could finish speaking. Brilliant sword light slashed down like a starry river. Boom. Gui Can's figure suddenly vanished. The sword missed, instead slicing a long ditch. A woman appeared in the air, a sword in her hand and the wind blowing back her hair. Like an immortal descending into the mortal world, Yu Ziaokian had joined the fight. Long Chen, you focus on true immortal Jiaoki. Leave this person to me. Yu Ziaokian sent a message to Long Chen. Will you be alright? Asked Long Chen, a bit worried. Although I'm only in control of the slightest bit of the profound spirit Tao scripture, it's enough to handle him. The devil character appeared on her forehead once more, and a sacred energy filled the air. At the same time, runes appeared all over, surging toward her. Gui Can, your Gui family has targeted my original devil race three times. You've killed countless numbers of our people. Today, you'll be repaying that blood debt. With a simple slash of her sword, heaven and earth rumbled. All the deos of this world echoed her power. Gui Can summoned countless black beetles, but they were all blown to bits. This is the power of the heavenly deos. She's actually in control of this place's heavenly deos. Gui Ken's expression changed. Waving his staff, he shot out a spiritual arrow. That black spiritual arrow carried with it a terrifying curse energy. The roaring of fiends could be heard coming from it. However, that curse power was shattered by Yu Ziaokian's sword. Her sword contained the will of the heavenly deos. She was now the heir of the profound spirit Tao scripture and could control the power of this minor world. It was just a pity that she hadn't fully comprehended it yet. 
or she would have been the new master of this space and could annihilate anyone. However, even though she could only control a portion of this world's power, it put her at an immense advantage. That curse power was completely isolated by heavenly Tao energy. Ghost kings dominate the starry sky. Gui can finally became serious. A gate of death opened behind him, and figures came flying out. Each of them was a giant dozens of meters tall. They were made of black mist and emitting endless death chi. Their auras were hair-raising. What terrifying existences. Yu Ziaokian's sword fell once more, striking one of the giant figures. That giant figure attempted to punch her. When they were about to clash, its arm transformed from mist into a solid entity. Its arm exploded upon receiving Yu Ziaokian's sword. However, its arm quickly regrew, and it continued to attack her. Eighteen of these black giants were surrounding her. Yu Ziaokian fought and weaved through them, wanting to get by them to kill Gui Kan. However, Gui Kan was crafty and knew that she was trying to get close. Each time, he would wave his staff, and one of those giants would appear in front of him, blocking her. Yu Ziaokian was temporarily tied up with getting rid of the black giants. She was clearly at an immense advantage, but defeating Gui Ken was not so easy to kill. They were in a deadlock. Seeing this, Long Chen was much more at ease. It was enough if Yu Ziaokian was able to protect herself against Gui Ken. With Evil Moon and the 72 Dragon Teeth, Long Chen faced True Immortal Jiaoki. True Immortal Jiaoki no longer seemed to be in a rush to attack. He stared at him coldly, a cruel smile on his lips. Long Chen, do you know? I wasn't planning on using my full power because I always viewed you guys as insignificant humans, not worthy of seeing my full power. However, you are just barely qualified. I'll show you the true power of the Xuan beasts. Do you need to drink some breast milk first? Show me just how amazing animals like you are at sucking. Mocked Long Chen. The ignorant are always fearless. You have no idea about the true power of the Killin race. When I normally fight, I use my Drake power. But do you see my manifestation now? True Immortal Jiaoki pointed to the manifestation behind him. Now I'll be showing you my Killin power. You will be the first human to die to my killin' power, so you should be able to rest in peace. The blurry and vague manifestation behind true immortal Jiaoki gradually became clearer. A giant killin' beast appeared, and true immortal Jiaoki's power soared. Die. The killin' halberd rumbled through space as it smashed toward Long Chen. Chapter 1886 Igniting Green Dragon Essence Blood Translator Born to be the killin' design on the halberd lit up and a killin's roar could be heard as the halberd fell toward Long Chen. Long Chen raised Evil Moon, unleashing all his power. However, even fully prepared, he felt like a star had just struck him. The skin on the back of his hand split open and blood splashed down. He was sent flying. True immortal Jiaoki had summoned his killin power now. It caused his physical strength to multiply, and he was continuously forcing Long Chen back. A little human is an ant when it comes to power. You'll never be able to compare with the Xuan beasts. True immortal Jiaoki's body was bulging, and the blood vessels beneath his skin looked like wriggling snakes. It was as though his blood chi was on the verge of exploding out of him. Long Chen had barely managed to keep hold of Evil Moon in that exchange, but he still said, I don't think so. Do you want to see what true power is? Long Chen, your arrogance has nothing to support it. You're just an ant in front of me. Well, I don't mind experiencing your pitiful power, said true immortal Jiaoki. All right, then I'll show you what true power is. Long Chen's blood began to circulate rapidly, rumbling like a flood. His blood seemed to be boiling. Dragon blood ignition. The dragon scales covering Long Chen's body faded, and the image of a dragon appeared on his forehead. That image was currently ablaze, as it burned. A sacred pressure caused the world to shake. Noble, holy, and arrogant. This pressure was as if the world's deos were all forced to obey Long Chen. True immortal Jiaoki's expression changed. He felt some kind of suppression that came from his bloodline. Half of true immortal Jiaoki's bloodline came from the Drake race, and a Drake couldn't even count as a dragon, let alone a true dragon. When Long Chen ignited his true dragon essence blood, it made true immortal Jiaoki feel a kind of dread. 
a feeling that he couldn't resist. You think some green dragon essence blood is enough to suppress me? Foolish, roared true immortal Jayaoki. Bang. Long Chen's foot suddenly stamped on the air, causing the sky to shake. Are the Xuan beasts that powerful? In front of a divine beast, you're the real ants. Evil Moon shook. True immortal Jayaoki, who had been pushing Long Chen back the entire time, was suddenly blown backward. He crashed through seven mountains before coming to a stop. He stared at Long Chen in shock. The dragon mark on Long Chen's forehead was still burning. He was actually incinerating his green dragon essence blood. This was a self-destructive move. Long Chen was not part of the dragon race. He wouldn't be able to produce more dragon essence blood. Now that he was incinerating it, his green dragon essence blood would never recover. However, Evil Moon was in slumber, and the dragon teeth were not heavy power weapons. He could only do this. With his green dragon essence blood burning, Long Chen felt each of his cells fill with explosive power. Long Chen suddenly vanished. When he reappeared, he was right in front of true immortal Jayaoki. This was purely his physical strength without using thunder force. After that, his saber slashed toward true immortal Jayaoki without any technique. It was a simple slash. However, this simple slash caused the world to turn silent. It was deathly still. That simple slash caused spastime to twist. Killin roar heavenly strike. True immortal Jayaoki's expression changed. The Killin figure in his manifestation lit up like a blazing sun. Its light condensed on the Killin halberd in his hand. The Killin halberd pierced forward. Divine light erupted in the form of a giant spear image, striking Long Chen. This was a Killin paragon art. Combined with his Killin halberd, true immortal Jayaoki had only been forced to use this move three times. Each time, he had slain his opponent. This was a secret art that the Killin race had never transmitted outside. Evil Moon struck the Killin halberd, and divine light exploded. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. Fuck. His dragon blood pressure is affecting my bloodline power. I can't unleash the power of my paragon art. True immortal Jayaoki's expression was extremely ugly now. He had just summoned his paragon art when he sensed that the blood chi within him was off. Just as his paragon art was supposed to reach its peak, his blood chi went into chaos, causing his paragon art's power to sharply drop. The dragon blood pressure was completely suppressing him. He couldn't use his power. Just now, his blood chi had been in chaos and then his body had received a shock through Long Chen's attack, almost causing him to explode. He hadn't felt such a huge pressure when Long Chen had used the green dragon battle armor. But now that Long Chen was incinerating his essence blood, that dragon might was over ten times stronger. The dragon race was the head of the divine beasts. They were gods amongst beasts. An incomparable existence. Any beast would feel a bloodline suppression. For true immortal Jayaoki, this suppression was even more intense due to his Drake bloodline. Boom. The two once more clashed. True immortal Jayaoki's Killin Halberd was sent flying out of his grasp by Long Chen's saber. Long Chen was unstoppable. Blowing away the halberd with his saber, he sent a kick at true immortal Jayaoki's jaw. True immortal Jayaoki instinctively dodged, raising his arm to block. As a result, Long Chen's kick struck his forearm. The sound of bones cracking rang out. His thick arm was instantly broken. Attack together. True immortal Jayaoki had brought a large mass of experts in. They had been excitedly watching, waiting to see true immortal Jayaoki crush Long Chen. However, once Long Chen incinerated his green dragon essence blood, he became a completely different person. Seeing true immortal Jayaoki at a disadvantage. Over a thousand Xuan beast experts charged forward. These experts were all Empyreans with manifestations starting to awaken. They then immediately unleashed their strongest magical arts and divine abilities at Long Chen. The sky was filled with attacks. As Long Chen unleashed a giant saber image, magical arts crumbled in front of it, and divine light exploded. The strongest attacks of over a thousand experts were unable to reach him. However, their attacks were able to force him back. Seeing this, others also joined their battle. Whether it was Mo Nian and Di Feng or Yu Xiaokian and Ji Yu I Can, their battles had reached a climax. They were competing in speed and technique. 
Only Long Chen and True Immortal Jiaoki were competing in pure power. Yu Ziaokian and Mo Nian's battlefields were too fast for them to keep up. They couldn't interfere. But joining in on Long Chen's battlefield was much easier. Experts from the Xuan Beasts, Ancient Races, Corrupt Path, Ancient Family Alliance, and even some righteous experts launched long-distance attacks at Long Chen. Divine Light exploded. Long Chen was instantly brought to desperate straits. True Immortal Jiaoki's expression was dark. He swung his arm. The arm that had been broken was already healed. Seeing Long Chen unable to retaliate in the face of over 3,000 experts' continuous attacks, True Immortal Jiaoki clenched his teeth. He wasn't weaker than Long Chen, but his bloodline was suppressed, making him unable to unleash his full power. He actually needed to rely on other people's help. Kill Long Chen. With over 3,000 experts attacking, Long Chen could only do his best to defend. There was no chance for him to counterattack, delighting them. It went without saying that with 3,000 experts attacking, ignoring everything else, they could simply exhaust his spiritual yuan. Ah, suddenly, a scream rang out. That person had been bitten in the shoulder by an ant. That's a heaven-devouring ant, shouted someone in shock. There's only one. Kill it. Wait, there's more. Heavens, how are there so many? Countless heaven-devouring ants had filled the sky behind them without them even knowing. The sky was dark. These heaven-devouring ants were like little pigs. Their strongest point was their powerful pincers, as well as the black fluid on them. More people were bitten and immediately lost half their bodies. The physical bodies of these powerful Empyreans seemed weak in front of the ants. It had to be known that heaven-devouring ants' pincers were able to even pierce the tough hides of 12th rank magical beasts, let alone some humans. Quick, kill them. The experts immediately switched to a defensive formation. There were too many ants. If the experts separated, they would be easily defeated. The experts attacked crazily. The heaven-devouring ants possessed tough bodies, but even they couldn't block the full power of a divine item. However, the name of the heaven-devouring ants was not given for nothing. Even these powerful Empyreans couldn't just kill such a giant mass easily. Each attack could only kill a few dozen. There was no way to count how many of them there were. They filled the sky, and more and more of them were appearing. It was becoming more difficult to survive as quite a few people were bitten and killed. Most terrifying of all, the heaven-devouring ants possessed a special ability. When people got bitten, their souls would be paralyzed. Even their Yuan spirits couldn't escape. Seeing this torrent of heaven-devouring ants, Long Chen suddenly suppressed his aura and vanished. At the same time, Yu Ziaokian also stopped attacking. She actually fled, leaving behind a dumbfounded Gui Can. He had been on the verge of defeat, but Yu Ziaokian had actually given up. Heroic heaven-devouring ants, listen to your master's orders. Devour these bastards. When the army of heaven devouring ants arrived, Mo Nian also stopped attacking. A portion of the heaven devouring ants charged toward Di Fang, completely ignoring Mo Nian. It really was like they were housepits that he had summoned. Di Fang was appalled and hastily blocked. Chapter 1887 Terrifying Heaven Devouring Ants Translator Born to be, how is this possible? Rage Di Fang. The heaven-devouring ants were known for being impossible to be turned into houseboats. They lacked any intelligence and couldn't follow orders. However, Mo Nian seemed to have victory in his grasp, adding on the fact that the heaven-devouring ants were biting him. Di Feng was shocked and infuriated. Although the heaven-devouring ants weren't all that dangerous for him, as time passed, they could exhaust his spiritual yuan. Even someone as powerful as Di Feng couldn't allow the heaven-devouring ants to bite him. Now that the sky was filled with them, he felt a chill. The truth was that these heaven-devouring ants weren't biting Mo Nian because their intelligence was too low. Their instincts led them to their priority targets, and before those targets were eliminated, they wouldn't attack others. When Di Feng had smashed apart the stone tablet at the entrance to this tomb, the stone tablet had been hiding the crushed corpses of some heaven-devouring ants. There was dark liquid within the abdomen of the heaven-devouring ants, and it was used to summon reinforcements. If one was killed, the killer would be splashed with that liquid, drawing more heaven-devouring ants. 
Defend's destruction of the stone tablet had caused the corpses of over 20,000 heaven-devouring ants to spread through the air. Mo Nian was also evil and had used a stone tablet that was the same color as the liquid so that it wouldn't be sensed. When the flying stone and powder had filled the air, the people had been infected by some of the odor, and the results were seen now. The reason the heaven-devouring ants were called a variant species was because they possessed completely incomprehensible techniques. The air of death from so many heaven-devouring ants had spread throughout the yin-yang world. Practically, every heaven-devouring ant within the yin-yang world had come charging over. This huge underground world was now occupied by them. There was a dark sea covering the sky. They smelled the odor on these experts' bodies and viewed them as the murderers who had killed their companions. They began a crazy assault. Originally, a portion of these experts hadn't been infected by the odor, but seeing others attack, they followed along, resulting in them being infected by the odor as well. They were all viewed as enemies. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian, and Mo Nian had long since kept up a domain to block that odor. Even if some brainless heaven-devouring ants attacked them, they would only push them aside instead of killing them. I, Mo Nian, am the god of these heaven-devouring ants. They are my troops. Tell me, who is qualified to compete with me? HMPH. Things that are impossible for others can be done in passing by me. Just patiently await your deaths. You'll all die to my army of heaven-devouring ants. Mo Nian's voice resounded through the air. But people couldn't see where he was. There were too many heaven-devouring ants. They were like a flood, and they had no idea where Mo Nian was. However, his words terrified them. The endless heaven-devouring ants were like black fiends. People were dying with each passing moment. Form up. Get in a formation. Don't fight alone, roared Di Fang. True immortal Jiaoki and Gui Ken had also noticed that things were off. The heaven-devouring ants might not be able to threaten them for now, but they were fatal to others. The three of them joined into a battle formation, protecting everyone. They combined their forces, managing to block the heaven-devouring ants. As long as they had enough time, they could annihilate these heaven-devouring ants. That plan sounded nice, but it was an overestimation of their abilities. These 3,000 experts came from different powers having no experience cooperating with each other. As long as a single person didn't match the others, it would leave an opening in their defenses. Quite a few people were still being killed. The reason the Dragonblood Legion was called the world's strongest Legion wasn't because of their individual fighting skills, but that their cooperation had reached a perfect level. As for these people, they might be powerful Empyreans, but they were also prideful heavenly geniuses. When it came to cooperation, they were a wild rabble. A single mistake in their cooperation resulted in death. They began to fight for themselves again. At the very least, that would protect their own lives. They didn't want to trust their lives to others. The heaven-devouring ants continued charging toward them in an endless tide. Each time they charged, they would reap a few lives. These experts couldn't change their ultimate fate. How is this possible? No. It's impossible. This is a nightmare. Tell me that this isn't real. The sight of this tide was a blow to the mental states of these experts. The heaven-devouring ants were reaping their lives, while they could only crazily defend. No matter how they fought, it seemed they were only winning a few more seconds of life. It's useless. Struggling is futile. Just give up. Remember the name of Mo Nian. When the Yama King asks you how you died, you can say my name. Speaking of which. You also need to remember an awesome verse. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. Mo Nian's voice once more resounded through the air. It came from every direction. It was like the mocking of a devil, infuriating them while also making them feel despair. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian and Mo Nian looked into the distance where a black sea covered the battlefield. Mo Nian's mocking shout left Long Chen speechless. This fellow was the truly evil one. Yu Ziaokian looked backward at the entrance to the tomb. There was still a stream of heaven-devouring ants coming from there. These heaven-devouring ants are absolutely terrifying. Long Chen, you're a genius praised Yu Ziaokian. Ah, 
It was just a lucky spark of brilliance. I didn't really think it would come to anything. I also didn't expect them to be so terrifying. It looks like all the yin yang world's heaven devouring ants have been drawn over. No wonder Evil Moon didn't want me to provoke them. Even Long Chen was amazed. When he had first entered the yin yang world and been chased down by the heaven devouring ants, he had been provoked and almost killed them. If he had done that, he really would have been doomed. He would have faced the hunt of all the heaven devouring ants in this world. Looking at this sea of ants, he thanked his luck that he had listened to Evil Moon's suggestion. Yes, being obedient was good. Boom. Suddenly, the sea of heaven devouring ants surged and shook. It seems true immortal Jiaoki and the others are finally going all out. Long Chen glanced back to the entrance. The stream of heaven devouring ants was starting to shrink. It seemed that all of the heaven devouring ants in the yin yang world had already arrived. Let's go. We'll seal the exit. The three of them flew over. As expected, the heaven devouring ants just flew past them. They completely ignored the three of them. They clearly had some special communication method and knew that the heaven devouring ants up ahead were in danger. So they were rushing to assist. As for Long Chen, Mo Nian, and Yu Ziaokian, they weren't infected with any of the odor of the heaven devouring ants. So they were naturally ignored. The three of them left. Now, the experts within the sea of heaven devouring ants were in hell on earth. Even Di Fang, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ji Yui Ken could not prevent their people from being slain one by one. The endless horde of heaven devouring ants caused despair. Even as they killed as many of them as they could, they couldn't see their numbers drop. Their corpses had piled into mountains, but they still filled the sky. These experts couldn't see the slightest hope. At first, there were over 3,000 experts, but in just half an incense stick's worth of time, over a thousand of them had been killed. If this continued, they would all die. We can't continue like this. There's too many heaven devouring ants. We have to let a portion of our elites to break through, said Di Fang. No, I won't abandon my people, said true immortal Jiaoki frostily. Ji Yui Ken's expression was gloomy, and he didn't say anything. It was unknown what he was thinking. Up to you. I'm going to let my people through. Although there might be many deaths, at least some of the stronger ones will live. Staying here will only result in them all dying, said Di Fang. His manifestation rumbled. A giant spear pierced through the air. The heaven devouring ants in the path of that spear were blown to bits, but they still couldn't see any light. There were even more heaven devouring ants than they had thought. Seeing this, Ji Yui Ken said, if the three of us don't work together, the only ones remaining at the end will be the three of us. Clearly, Ji Yui Ken agreed with Di Feng's plan. There were too many heaven devouring ants, and staying here trying to protect everyone would only leave them with corpses. Most terrifying of all, even they couldn't endure such a fight for long. They naturally weren't willing to put their own lives in danger, so they wanted to charge through, creating an opening for at least a portion of the others to get through. Seeing that the opening that Di Feng had created was filled up in an instant, true immortal Jiaoki was filled with rage. He was unwilling. He knew that the Xuan Beast experts were his people, and he was unwilling to abandon them. The Xuan Beasts were actually very united. Long Chen, Mo Nian, I will definitely tear the two of you into pieces. True Immortal Jiaoki clenched his teeth. He could only helplessly accept this plan. Everyone, follow us. Don't fall behind. We're going to charge our way through, shouted Di Fang. He unleashed his powerful paragon art once more sending a spear through the heaven devouring ants. Only paragon arts were capable of causing significant casualties to the sea of heaven devouring ants. However, paragon arts took up a shocking amount of energy, and even the three of them couldn't use them lightly. True immortal Jiaoki also roared, using his kill in power to blast his way through. Ji Yui Ken repeatedly waved his staff, causing divine light to flow out. The light transformed into sharp swords that pierced through the sky. It was also a paragon art. The three of them forcibly created a huge opening through the heaven devouring ants. The three of them charged through, and the other experts immediately charged behind them. However, some people were just too slow. They were still flying through the opening when the army of heaven devouring ants converged on them once more, cutting off their single hope. No. 
Cries of despair rang out. Those experts knew that they were about to die. Chapter 1888 Experts Con to Death Translator Born to be there were too many heaven-devouring ants. Even working together, Defang, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Ken were only able to temporarily create an opening. This opportunity was fleeting. The experts that the three of them had secretly communicated with about this plan had already drawn close and charged out as soon as they attacked. As for the others, they were one step slower, and as a result, the terrifying army of heaven-devouring ants instantly collapsed on them, covering their exit. Cries of despair rang out, with Defang, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Ken leaving. They wouldn't have any hope of escaping. They would only be waiting for death. Senior, you can't abandon us. Similar cries rang out, but Defung and the others acted like they didn't hear. As a result, the army of heaven-devouring ants split in two, one annihilating the experts that had been abandoned, while the rest charged at Defeng's fleeing group. True immortal Jiaoki looked back at the group of less than 500 people they had managed to bring out. Amongst them, there weren't even a hundred Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts possessed large bodies, and so the area they had to defend was many times greater than others. This time, the Xuan beasts had taken the worst losses. Over a thousand of them had come, but less than a hundred were coming out. This was the greatest defeat in his life. Furthermore, he still didn't know how he had lost. Bastards. The door's been blocked by them. When Di Feng saw that the exit was blocked by a stone gate, his expression instantly changed. This meant Long Chen and the others had already left, sealing them inside. Attack together. Break this damn door. Seeing the exit sealed. True immortal Jiaoki's anger soared. His kill and halberd lit up, and the light of a paragon art pierced forward. Di Feng and Gui Ken didn't have time to overthink things. They also attacked all out because they couldn't tarry. If the army of heaven devouring ants behind them caught up, the same story would repeat itself. Boom. The entire world shook. Tiny cracks appeared on the stone gate, but it didn't immediately shatter. Ah. Suddenly. Cries rang out. The shock waves of three paragon arts forced the surrounding experts back, and some of them were thrown into the army of heaven devouring ants. In that instant, their original army of 3,000 experts was reduced to just the three of them. True immortal Jiaoki let out a berserk roar. Unable to accept this reality, he attacked the stone door repeatedly. He had entered a crazy state. Finally, the stone door burst apart. At that moment, divine light erupted. An arrow, saber image, and sword chi all rushed out. It's an ambush, shouted Di Feng. The three of them activated their paragon arts to defend. Boom. Mountains crumbled and the earth collapsed. The light of paragon arts pierced out in every direction. Di Feng, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui can all coughed up blood and were blown backward. Their hasty defense put them at a disadvantage. As for Long Chen, Mo Nian, and Yu Ziaokian, they were standing in the exit. Clearly, they had been lying in wait. The berserk power unleashed by the six of them caused the tomb to collapse. Heavenly Tao energy from the outside world was surging into it, wreaking havoc. A giant whirlpool appeared, sucking the contents of the minor world inside. The minor world is crumbling. If we get sucked in, we'll die. Yu Ziaokian was appalled at this sight and hastily sent a message to the other two. The three of them hastily retreated. It was quite literally the apocalypse. This minor world's life had come to an end, and everything sucked into the whirlpool was turned to dust. The heaven-devouring ants were crushed without the slightest ability to resist. As for Di Feng, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Can, their expressions changed. Even for experts as powerful as them, being drawn into this whirlpool would spell certain death. Gui Can had it the worst because his power was the weakest. He had also been blown back the furthest from the ambush. He was the closest to the whirlpool, and as he tried to fly away, an arm and leg were torn off his body. With a furious roar, Gui Ken raised his staff. Divine light enveloped his body, and he suddenly sped away. The rest of him managed to escape, but his arm and leg were sucked up by the whirlpool. Gui Ken had a horrified expression. Fortunately, what had been devoured wasn't the arm holding his staff, or he'd have died. Wrapped up in the light of his staff, he sped to the front. 
Just as he was about to escape the pool of the whirlpool, a five-colored arrow shot toward his heart. Mo Nian, Gui can let out a furious howl. At this critical moment, Mo Nian was actually sneak attacking him. Bang. However, on its flight toward him, the arrow was smashed apart by a halberd. True immortal Jiaoki had saved him. He had no other choice. If in a three against three, they were unable to suppress them, then without Gui can, they would be in danger in a two against three. The minor world gradually faded away, and the whirlpool shrank. In the end, the only thing left to show that it had ever existed was a bottomless hole. Long Chen, face your death. Just as Long Chen was preparing to ignite more of his green dragon essence blood to fight true immortal Jiaoki, a roar came from the distance. It's Huo Lian, Jiaokian, you have to leave. Long Chen's expression changed. He saw countless experts charging over from every direction. It was unknown if they had been summoned by Defun or drawn over by the fluctuations. In any case, more and more experts were coming, with many top experts amongst them. Yu Ziaokian nodded, forming hand seals. She began to chant a scripture. Runes appeared around her, and her body rapidly faded. You think you can run? Keep dreaming. Di Feng saw this and immediately attacked, but he was blocked by Mo Nian's arrow. Before anyone else could do anything, Yu Ziaokian vanished. She had used some secret technique to flee. So, should we continue? Mo Nian looked at Long Chen. Continue for what? That Huo Lian's a tough opponent, and I also sense Zi Luo's aura. Let's end things here. We've already gotten our money's worth, said Long Chen. All right then, Mo Nian nodded. Count yourselves lucky. Next time, your daddy Mo won't let you off so easily. Mo Nian took out a strange object that looked like the tip of a spear. It was pitch black and just over three meters tall. This strange object suddenly opened. It drew Long Chen and Mo Nian inside. Then, Runes activated around it and it prepared to leave. Dai, Di Fang, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Gui can launched powerful attacks that slammed into it. However, it simply flew away without the slightest damage. Children, your daddy Moserve splitting divine shuttle can't be damaged by even nether passage experts. As for you few, he, don't even bother trying. Mo Nian's mocking voice rang out. That strange earth splitting divine shuttle sped away. Mo Nian actually flew it straight toward Huo Lian. Hence, Huo Lian took out his spear and activated its divine power, smashing it at the earth splitting divine shuttle. As a result, Huo Lian was sent flying, hacking up blood. As for the earth splitting divine shuttle, it was sent flipping through the air by the impact. Damn, that Huo Lian's pretty strong. Even without a paragon art, his attack is on the level of a nether passage expert exclaimed Mo Nian. Stop playing around. Let's hurry up and leave, said Long Chen irritably. It's fine. I once used the earth-splitting divine shuttle to play around with a dozen nether passage experts. Even after several hours, they weren't able to break its defenses. It's a supreme treasure, said Mo Nian confidently. This earth-splitting divine shuttle was something he had found in an ancient tomb. It was a funerary object for a supreme expert. It was thanks to it that after all his years of grave robbing, no one had managed to kill him. This was another reason why Mo Nian could be so arrogant as to sweep through the western Xuan region with no one able to stop him. The problem isn't its defenses. All I know is if this continues, I'll puke, shouted Long Chen. Flipping through the air like this made him nauseous. After all, Long Chen wasn't Mo Nian. After his years of experience. Mo Nian was already used to it, but Long Chen wasn't. All right, we'll go. Mo Nian was a bit unwilling, but seeing more and more experts coming, he knew that killing Di Feng and the others wasn't possible. They could only leave. The earth-splitting divine shuttle transformed into a shooting star that streaked over the horizon, vanishing from people's sight. That speed made them feel despair. Bastards. Huo Lian let out an angry roar. He wanted to block them but the earth-splitting divine shuttle was too fast. Di Feng, true immortal Jiaoki, and Gui Ken's expressions were ugly. This time, they had suffered a double loss. The 3,000 experts that they had gathered had been annihilated. Amongst them were quite a few of their trusted subordinates. 
Now experts from all the various powers had rushed over here. They looked at the three of them and their wretched appearances. Their gazes made the three of them want to start killing. What happened? Demanded a dark-faced Ziluo to Gui Yan. You aren't qualified to ask me. If you want answers, ask someone else. I'm not your subordinate. Snorted Gui Can. He turned and left just like that. Clearly, Gui Can was too infuriated to answer Ziluo's questions. More importantly, he didn't have the face to give the real answer. True immortal Jiaoki also left on his own without looking at anyone. Only Di Feng's expression was calm. He was spiritually telling Huo Lian and Zi Luo what had happened. Long Chen and Mo Nian are both sinister and crafty. If we want to kill them, we'll probably need to make things more difficult for them. We can't be careless. Otherwise, if after all of us were mobilized and they still survive, we'll be humiliated, said Huo Lian after hearing the story. Let's go. We should set up around the Yin Yang Valley. It won't be long before it opens. Long Chen and Mo Nian will definitely appear there. We'll make sure that they can never leave the Yin Yang world, said Di Fang. Huo Lian nodded. Zi Luo also expressed his consent. There really wasn't much time left. It was time for a decisive clash. Chapter 1889 Pulling in Mo Nian Translator Born to be astral winds raged through the air. A group of dozens of experts was currently fighting all out on a mountain range. There were nine experts of the righteous path on one side, while there were over twenty experts on the other side. Those experts came from the corrupt path, ancient races, and ancient family alliance noveloon.com The number difference meant that the righteous experts were at an immense disadvantage. They were clearly suppressed, and it seemed victory was about to be decided by the other side. The Righteous Path has only broken off relations with the Ancient Family Alliance, but we aren't enemies yet. Are you trying to start a war? Shouted the Righteous Path's leader, a woman whose sword danced, blocking the attacks of seven people. She was extremely powerful. Can you fools even count as part of the Righteous Path? You're still following that dictator Kujinying. Can you even represent the Righteous Path? The one speaking was a disciple who was also wearing the robes of the righteous path. Ku Jinying no longer cares about the righteous path. She's just selfishly protecting Long Chen. And the righteous path is now united against her. We will overthrow her dictatorship and rebuild the righteous path. Only you stubborn fools would still stand by her side. All that awaits you is death. What bullshit. You're clearly lying. Even now, you're working together with the ancient races. Ancient Family Alliance, and the Xuan Beasts. Worst of all, you've even joined hands with your mortal enemy, the Corrupt Path, to slaughter your comrades. Now you dare to spout such lies. Cursed the woman. The thing that infuriated her the most was the betrayal of these three people from the Righteous Path. At first, they had acted very amicably with them, while secretly sending an alert for others to come, resulting in them being surrounded. The three of them had then turned against them killing two of them and injuring one. To be sold out by fellow people from the righteous path was the most unacceptable kind of betrayal. Now hearing one of them even spout such nonsense, her fury soared. HMPH, you don't understand the times. The Martial Heaven Alliance can only start to grow once we overthrow Kujinying. Since you don't want to listen, you can just die, sneered that righteous expert. Suddenly, a strange figure shot through the air. It was incredibly fast, so fast that they didn't see it clearly. However, it made all of them jump. It was so fast that they almost felt like they hadn't seen it. After a brief moment of confusion, they continued fighting. The nine righteous experts were fighting for their lives, but the immense power disparity made it difficult for them to do anything. Suddenly, that strange object shot back. Two figures walked out of it. Ten years I wandered with my bow my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake, the nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me, only I, Mo Nian its senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we're saved, just as Mo Nian began his chant, the nine righteous experts became ecstatic, they finally saw who the two of them were, fuck, this is too embarrassing Mo Nian almost coughed up blood, he had actually been ignored, seeing Mo Nian and Long Chen, the experts attacking the righteous disciples were terrified. Without any hesitation, 
They fled. Thousand arrows Mo Nian raised his hand. With the pull of his fingers, thousands of rays of light shot out. Where those arrows flew, death followed. Those experts didn't even have a chance to make a sound before being killed. Those people had mostly been ranked 9 Celestials, with two Empyreans. As those two Empyreans hadn't even begun awakening their manifestations, Mo Nian didn't require any effort to kill them. Long Chen had to admit that Mo Nian's move was very clean and efficient. It definitely made him appear handsome. The experts were dumbfounded. Those enemies had almost cost them their lives, but they were swatted like flies in front of Mo Nian. That kind of combat power was shocking to them. Many thanks for saving our lives, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The leader hastily cupped her fists toward Long Chen. Hey, have you gotten things wrong? I was the one who saved you. While he didn't do anything, can you not ignore me? Demanded Mo Nian. I'm sorry, you are. The woman looked at Mo Nian with embarrassment. She actually didn't know Mo Nian and thought that he was one of Long Chen's subordinates. Mo Nian almost fainted. This fellow is Mo Nian. He dominated the western Xuan region, and in the grave I mean, the world of archaeology. He's a famous pioneer everyone knows, said Long Chen, standing up for his brother. Otherwise, Mo Nian really might get into a fit. Sorry, truly sorry. I come from the eastern Xuan region and only know senior apprentice brother Long Chen. My apologies, said the woman. This woman might come from the eastern Xuan region, but the eastern Xuan region was huge, and Long Chen didn't know her. He asked, are you still exploring or are you trying to gather? Senior apprentice brother, Yi Lingxian has already sent out the call to gather. We were rushing over to the gathering place. We have no choice but to gather, because not only have traitors appeared amongst our midst, but they've allied with the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, Xuan beasts, and Pill Valley. They'll gradually consume us bit by bit if we don't gather. We have to unite to get vengeance for our fallen brothers and sisters. The woman looked at the corpses on the ground with fury. Betrayal was always the most painful thing. Long Chen nodded. Yi Lingxian was finally picking up her burden. As her summons spread, all the forces of the righteous path were gathering. That was the only way to prevent being picked off bit by bit. Her message also had a warning. Traitors had appeared amidst the righteous path. So everyone had to be even more careful. This woman was a good example. Because of those three people that had snuck into their group. Some of her people had died. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Are you coming with us? The Martial Heaven Alliance needs you, asked a seemingly very young maiden shyly. Her face was filled with worship and excitement. Little you, don't cause a fuss. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is. The leader hushed her. They belonged to the same sect so they were rather close. I have more important things to do, so I won't be going with you. However, remember that as long as the Martial Heaven Alliance needs me, I definitely won't retreat said Long Chen, smiling at the maiden. These words boosted their morale. It was like Long Chen was a god, and a simple promise from him could fill them with passion. This was the charisma that only Long Chen possessed. The leader nodded. Time was pressing, so she bade farewell to Long Chen and Mo Nian, leaving to go to the gathering place. How is it that such pretty girls welcome you and completely ignore me? said Mo Nian bitterly. It's only because they come from the same place as me. All the Western Xuan region's experts go crazy when they see you, comforted Long Chen. Isn't that because they want to kill me? That's the only reason they go crazy. Mo Nian did a face bomb. Stop talking nonsense. Let's talk seriously. Right now, you're a loner. But that's not a long-term plan. If you want to restore the glory of the Mo family and wrestle back the position of leader of the ancient family alliance. You need more power. The Martial Heaven Alliance isn't a bad choice. Mo Nian was currently alone. He looked like he was doing very well. But in the end, he was alone. When it came to fighting a guerrilla war with the ancient family alliance, he was doing well. But it was almost impossible for him to win back the position that should be his on his own. The Martial Heaven Alliance? I don't think so. Don't try to con me. Those fellows spend all day scheming against each other in an attempt to get an advantage over their allies. What can I rely on people like them? Snorted Mo Nian. 
He was also very disappointed with the righteous path. I also thought the same. But a windstorm blows away the weeds, and fire burns impurities. The Martial Heaven Alliance's current tribulation will cut it to its core, but it will also slice away the toxic areas. By slicing off the toxic areas, the remaining flesh will be healthier, and it can regrow stronger than ever. I don't believe it. You say you're slicing off the toxic areas, but now at least half the Martial Heaven Alliance has been sliced away. How is it supposed to heal? Do you think Pill Valley will give them that time? Kujin Ying might have once created a legend, but that's in the past. If this was Kujin Ying's era, as long as she raised her hand, who in the righteous path would have dared to go against her? It's just a shame that Kujin Ying wasn't ambitious enough. She wasn't vicious enough. At that time, she should have taken control of the righteous path's minds and made it so none of the sects would dare to betray her. However, she was merciful allowing the righteous path to be infected by the vermin of Pill Valley, to restore the Martial Heaven Alliance to its previous state? I'm not trying to give you a blow, but it's almost impossible. Mo Nian shook his head. He clearly knew a great deal of the Martial Heaven Alliance's history and hit the nail on the head. A force like the Martial Heaven Alliance will naturally start to decline at its peak, but it will also start to grow at its bottom. This is a common pattern. You're being too pessimistic. Didn't you see those disciples just now? Their cultivation bases weren't high, but they still refused to surrender. If they had just switched sides, they could have escaped death, but they would have rather died than submit. Doesn't that show that there is hope? This is how you see the true core of a cultivator. There will naturally be some idiots in a crowd. That's unavoidable. But trust me, the current Martial Heaven Alliance is recovering. If you show them some kindness now, it will bring you endless benefits. I don't think that it's appealing. After all, I have my earth-splitting divine shuttle. I can go wherever I want. I don't want to be held back, said Mo Nian. All right, then I'll just mention that the Martial Heaven Alliance's leader of our generation is called Yi Lingxin. She's a peerless beauty, and she's still single. Really? All right, I accept. Mo Nian's eyes immediately lit up. What the fuck? Chapter 1890 Specialized in Treating the Disobedient Translator Born to be what happened to your integrity demanded Long Chen disdainfully. All his words of advice were unable to sway him, but he immediately changed tunes upon hearing that Yi Lingxin was a peerless beauty. Integrity? I buried that the first day I went grave robbing, said Mo Nian indifferently. However, are you sure you haven't seduced her already? If you're scamming me, don't worry about that. I'm only working together with her. She's very much like Senior Kujinying. She's strong-minded, determined, and resolute. Perfect traits for a leader. It's just that she has yet to fully release her sharpness. So she still needs some assistance right now. If you were to provide her some real help at this time, then once you attempt to take over the ancient family alliance, she will definitely stand on your side. Don't tell me that you don't want to see the Mo family return to its former glory and take back what's yours. Mo Nian was conflicted. To tell you the truth, I don't really care about restoring some former glory or leading the ancient family alliance. I feel just roaming around the world by myself would be more pleasing. If someone provokes me, I'll just go do some archaeology at their ancestral tomb. If I can't beat them, I'll use the earth-splitting divine shuttle. Isn't such a life happy? Your family's old man will definitely curse you to death if you do that. Saying you aren't a filial son. Long Chen shook his head. That isn't the biggest problem. They don't have the ability. But they force me to do it. Fine. I'll listen to you. Long Chen. I have something serious to discuss with you. You have to answer me seriously. Ask away. Tell me. If I try to pick up Yi Lingxin. What are my odds of success? That was something serious to discuss? Long Chen was rolling his eyes inside. Didn't you see your future in the ancient tomb? You're only accompanied by Lu Zongying. So what do you think? HMPH. The future changes as soon as someone learns it. It will no longer follow its old track. In other words, as soon as I saw that future, it opened up the possibility of other women. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian's wretched smile and sighed. To tell the truth. Perhaps the two of you are suited for each other. Mo Nian was delighted to hear that. 
Really? How? Novaloon.com In terms of your face, Yi Lingxian has an oval face that's slightly narrow, while your face is wide enough to make up for that weakness. Fuck. This is slander. My face isn't that big. This is called a healthy well-rounded face. Understand. Raged Mo Nian. Look at your own gaunt cheeks. You're clearly lacking good luck and blessings. As for the feeling when you touch it, HMPH, there's nothing to say. All right, all right. I won't talk about such useless things with you. If you want to pick up Yi Lingxian, then I think that's an excellent idea. If you succeed, you'll be a badass. If you fail, you'll still have roped in an alley. Yi Lingxian needs your help, so use the Earth Splitting Divine Shuttle to scout around. Based on Huo Lian and Di Feng's characters, they will definitely send out an army of experts to block our people. That would be your best time to show off. Before even seeing her, you'll give her a huge gift. That will be the foundation for seducing her and make everything else easier. You know, the way you're putting it, it sounds like I'm only doing this to pick up girls. To tell the truth, I'm only doing this because of you. If it weren't for you needing me, I wouldn't do such a thing said Mo Nian bashfully. Scram, you shameless fellow. Mo Nian really did scram. Getting into the earth-splitting divine shuttle, he flew away. Long Chen had pulled in another powerful helper for Yi Lingxian. This cooperation would be immensely beneficial to both Yi Lingxian and Mo Nian. As for Mo Nian trying to pick up Yi Lingxian, Long Chen could only pray for him. Yi Lingxian was deathly loyal to Ku Jianying and had to place all her effort on the Martial Heaven Alliance. How could she have time to discuss romance? Hopefully, she wouldn't give Mo Nian too bad of a blow. Once Mo Nian left, Long Chen also set off. He went in the opposite direction. This way, they could cover more ground. On the way, Long Chen sensed quite a few battles. As expected, the other side had sent out orders to intercept the Martial Heaven Alliance's people, wanting to eliminate some of them before they gathered. Seeing this, Long Chen wasn't merciful. Those experts trying to stop the Martial Heaven Alliance's people were slain without even having a chance to run. Those disciples were delighted upon seeing Long Chen come to save them. He stuck with some of them who were in small groups until he found another group for them to join. The more there were, the safer they would be. After a week, Long Chen didn't even know how many battles he had ended. He had finally reached the gathering place. There were hundreds of thousands of righteous experts here, and a clamor erupted when he arrived. The Martial Heaven Alliance was the continent's largest alliance. That statement was not even slightly false. Even after its interior had been splintered, so many elites were still loyal to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Its power was even greater than he had expected. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, you're late. Mo Nian immediately walked out and greeted him. He had been a bit faster as he had the earth-splitting divine shuttle and was an expert in long-distance attacks. Long Chen, Yi Lingxian and Chu Yao also walked over. Behind Yi Lingxian was a group of experts. Although they hid their auras, powerful fluctuations came from them, indicating that they were supreme experts. They should all have started awakening their manifestations. Some of them looked at Long Chen very politely, bowing, while some looked at him coldly, not offering any greetings. Long Chen didn't mind those people being aloof. People who liked to act badass had to have some ability. Those without the ability to be badasses were dumbasses. And such people never lived long in this world. Long Chen returned the greetings to those who greeted him, which gratified them. After all, he was the one who blazed with the greatest light in the Martial Heaven Alliance. His light even eclipsed Yi Lingxian's. Do you see those little fellows looking down on you? Even I want to beat them to death. They previously provoked me on purpose. Mo Nian sent a message to Long Chen. In Mo Nian's mind, others could act badass, but anyone who tried to act more badass than him would be going too far. Long Chen smiled. Ignore the children. Treat it as giving Yi Lingxian face. She is trying to establish her reputation, and if you tear her down, you won't have any chance. Yup, I'm different from them. I'm acting low key. I'm just waiting for a chance to show off my power and give them a silent slap in the face. Chortled Mo Nian. Long Chen was now surrounded by a group of righteous experts. The younger ones in particular had zealous expressions. They were his worshippers. People had a rebellious side. 
and they didn't want to accept their fates. As for Long Chen, he was the greatest defier of fate in the martial heaven continent a little fellow who had walked out of some corner of the eastern wastelands with nothing had forcibly climbed to his current height, fighting against the very heavenly deos, refusing to submit to any pressure. Now he was surrounded by enemies but still refused to submit. His name alone was to strike fear into the hearts of countless experts. Long Chen was a legend, a godlike existence in their eyes. Seeing so many people staring at Long Chen like this, even Mo Nian was getting a bit jealous. He had never enjoyed such limelight. Was it really because his face was a bit fat? Mo Nian touched his own cheeks, his confidence shaken. Everyone else can scatter. We have important things to discuss. A large man began chewing away those people. Those people's cultivation bases were average and insufficient to enter the core of this army. Hearing this order, they could only helplessly scatter. Long Chen frowned slightly. He glanced at Ji Lingxin, and she gave him a helpless look. She was unable to control these people. These people were powerful Empyreans and were naturally prideful. They might have listened to her summons, but even that wasn't easy. To make them submissive? Impossible. Of course, they also couldn't be all lumped together. The majority of these experts were still very conscientious. Some powerful people liked to be low-key. Those people hadn't come over to the core. They just needed to listen to Yi Lingxian's arrangements and didn't want to suggest anything themselves. This was their trust and respect for Yi Lingxian. The others scattered, leaving Long Chen, Mo Nian, Chu Yao, and Yi Lingxian with a group of hundreds of powerful experts. Those people sat on the ground and quietly looked at Yi Lingxian. Quite a few of the men clearly had adoration and admiration when they looked at Ji Lingxin. For her to have reached her current level had truly been difficult. It was the result of her own efforts. Chu Ya sat beside Long Chen, holding his arm to indicate her own position. Many people had tried to express their own feelings toward her, and if it hadn't been for Ji Lingxin, Chu Ya would have already left. Seeing Chu Yao hold Long Chen's arm so intimately immediately made flames of fury appear in quite a few people's eyes. Try as they might, they couldn't hide that. Long Chen acted like he didn't see that foolishness. To Yi Lingxian, he asked, What's the current situation? Do you think you're qualified to question Miss Lingxian? Shouted someone immediately. Yi Lingxian's expression changed. She hadn't expected these people to be foolish to this extent. Even if they didn't want to live, they didn't need to do this. Do you want it, or should I? Long Chen looked at Mo Nian. Mo Nian shook his head. I'm not in a good mood. I might not be able to control myself. Long Chen nodded. He vanished, reappearing in front of the person who had provoked him. He immediately slapped him. Before that person could understand what was happening, he was sent flying. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. I specialize in treating the disobedient. Who else needs treatment? Chapter 1891 Clearing Away the Thorns Translator Born to be that expert's face caved in. Without a sound, he fainted. This was Long Chen being merciful. If he had added just a bit of force, he'd have died. Chaos followed his actions. Quite a few people were about to shout furiously at Long Chen. However, their voices were cut short when Mo Nian pulled back his bowstring. Things were silent. They were shocked to find that every single one of them was locked onto by Mo Nian's aura. With a single thought, he could kill them all. An intense sensation of death filled their hearts. Although they had heard of Mo Nian's name, all they knew was the name of the Western wretch. He spent all day robbing tombs, so he was looked down on. However, as soon as Mo Nian pulled back his bowstring, they felt all their lives be held in his grasp. Their expressions wildly shifted. Only now did they learn just how great the difference between them and Mo Nian was. What what are you planning on doing? Why fight amongst ourselves asked one person. Shaking. The ruckus over here drew the other experts who had distanced themselves from this smaller group. They rushed over to see what was happening. He. I knew these fools would be put in their place. One of the experts in that crowd smiled faintly as if he had long since expected this. Exactly. Those arrogant fellows just kept looking down on everyone else. I ignored them, and they viewed it as me being afraid of them. I said that as soon as Long Chen arrived, it would be up to their luck if these fellows would even survive. 
Having such idiots removed from the group is good. Good for unity. Otherwise, having them act like big shits all the time would hurt morale. Quite a few people were smiling. Those people who had barged their way into being one of the core members didn't realize the situation. Yi Lingxin was the future alliance head, and she had called them all over. Who did they think they were? Why should they be allowed to participate in matters only for the higher-ups? Some of the smart people had long since realized that these fellows would cause trouble. Yi Lingxin's foundation wasn't stable yet. Once she had studied herself, they would be the first group to be put in their place. However, others had been even more far-seeing. They had bet that as long as Long Chen arrived, their days of looking down on others would come to an end, and they had won their bet. It was just that even they hadn't expected Mo Nian's power. Hundreds of experts were locked onto by his power, and all those experts were top emperians. That was why they were so arrogant. With a simple move, Mo Nian suppressed everyone. So many lives were in his hands now. Life and death could be decided by just a thought from him. Now they saw his terrifying power. Long Chen icily looked at the stunned and enraged experts. He smiled disdainfully. What? Did you think that because you were powerful Empyreans that you could get an advantage? Did you think that the current Martial Heaven Alliance needs you desperately? How laughable. With your little power, people like Di Fang, True Immortal Jiaoki, or Zi Luo could annihilate all of you in a single attack. Who are you to act like big shits here? The Martial Heaven Alliance wouldn't be lacking if you were gone. So if you don't like it, then scram. The current Martial Heaven Alliance is undergoing a Nirvanic rebirth. Standing on the right side today is your luck because you'll get to continue living. If you want to leave, I guarantee your ending will be very miserable. You're not the ones helping out the Martial Heaven Alliance. It's the Martial Heaven Alliance helping you. Standing on the side of the Martial Heaven Alliance is your smartest choice. So don't start getting any wild ideas. Yi Lingxin is Alliance Head Ku Jianying's personal disciple. The Alliance Head has already entrusted the Martial Heaven Alliance to her. So you also need to trust her instead of acting like some council of judgment. Do you feel wrong being forced to leave your lives in other people's hands? Then tell me. Do you know how many losses the Righteous Path suffered when Senior Ku Jianying shook the whole world as she led the Righteous Path against the Corrupt Path? How many times did she brush against death? Do you know? Do you know why she did it? I'll tell you. It was to protect the righteous path. She abandoned her own love and life for the Martial Heaven Alliance. For all of you, if it weren't for Senior Ku Jianying's generation spilling their blood, would you have your current cultivation environment? Would the righteous path be as powerful as it is now? Now that their days are comfortable, some people have forgotten what their ancestors sacrificed, how they died, for some temporary profit. They're willing to collude with the corrupt path to kill their comrades. Such people aren't even fit to be called humans. As for you all, while you haven't betrayed the righteous path, you're acting arrogant, like you're some amazing fellows above others. That's already negatively affecting the righteous path's unity. I, Long Chen, will put it bluntly. If you become more well-behaved, there will be a place for you in the Martial Heaven Alliance. But if you feel like staying here is a waste of your talent, then you can walk away. You have legs. You can go wherever. But no matter what you choose, it's not a path you can return from. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air powerfully. It contained great confidence and charisma. His logic was plain and simple. Everyone, if you want to leave, I won't keep you. But if you stay, you will be my brothers and sisters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. I, Yi Lingxin, come from humble origins and this is a great responsibility, so I cannot guarantee much. However, I can promise that when the Martial Heaven Alliance is in danger, I will be standing at the very front. Even if I have to spill my last drop of blood, I will protect the inheritance left by my master. Yi Lingxin also stood up and made a speech. This promise moved all the disciples. This was a public oath. Senior Apprentice Sister Lingxin, we'll trust you. We'll follow you to death. Whether it's heaven or hell, we'll follow you. Quite a few experts stood and shouted. Those were experts that she had saved. Without her, they would have long since died. She had followed Long Chen's suggestion and had begun gathering the righteous path and gathering their hearts. Some of the results were already showing. 
People's hearts were complicated to the point that they couldn't be understood. However, sometimes they were simple to the point that a single action, a single gaze could make them willing to risk their own lives for someone else. Those arrogant experts were caught in an awkward position. They had thought that relying on their great power as elite Empyreans, they should have the authority to enter the core of this group. That was the only way for them to gain more authority in the future. However, their arrogance had been shattered by Long Chen's slap and Mo Nian's bow. In front of the two of them, they weren't qualified to be arrogant. They were stunned by Long Chen and Mo Nian's martial power, and then Yi Lingxian had even come out, making a promise as the leader. For the first time, this great army of the Martial Heaven Alliance possessed some cohesiveness. We were foolish and offended senior apprentice sister Lingxian. Please give us your punishment. You can curse us, beat us, but please don't expel us from the Martial Heaven Alliance. We want to work for the Martial Heaven Alliance, said one of those disciples. He actually knelt on one knee toward her. That was a standard etiquette for a subordinate. That alone showed the change in his attitude. Following that person, the other disciples also apologized for their previous conduct. One of them announced, Please don't expel us. Otherwise, once I get back, my dad will definitely beat me to death. He was one of the generals following the alliance head, and I want to be the same as him. I will follow you to death. These hundreds of experts had submitted. Long Chen and Mo Nian exchanged a smile. This was the power of the carrot and the stick. It was a well-tried method and had resolved this problem. In truth, any power would have similar issues, especially when there were more people. That was only natural. However, these thorns had been people with a certain amount of power. One benefit of these thorns was that their heads were simple. Once their beliefs were solidified, it would be difficult to shake them. Their loyalty shouldn't be much of a problem. These hundreds of experts apologized. While Yi Lingxian graciously accepted, this matter ended like that. Yi Lingxian glanced at Long Chen gratefully. This was all thanks to Long Chen. Otherwise, considering how she had no experience with leadership, handling these people would not have been so easy. All right, everyone, pay attention. Long Chen's voice once more rang out. During the next three days, everyone should arrive. Although we're reaching the last few stragglers. We're still going to wait these three days. During these three days, everyone is to monitor each other. This gathering place will be sealed off. People can enter, but not leave. Why? Long Chen continued. Because there are so many people here. There are definitely a few spies. Three days from now, the Dragonblood Legion's number one soul expert, Meng Chi, will come. She'll clean up any spies, to guarantee that none of them escape to sell out our information. I hope everyone can keep a close eye on each other. Although it's a bit hurtful, this is something that relates to hundreds of thousands of lives. Brothers, sisters, you must be on guard at all times. Immediately, the wariness of these disciples shot up. Quite a few people's expressions changed. Big sister Men Chi is coming. Chu Yao was delighted. Foolish girl, this is a con to scare away the traitors. No matter how amazing Men Chi is. She can't soul sark hundreds of thousands of people without a few months' time, laughed Long Chen. You're evil, Chu Yao also laughed. Long Chen was once more conning people. However, he had been so serious that it had looked real. All right, let's ignore them for now. We should go take a look at the Yunyang Valley, said Yi Lingxian. Chapter 1892 Something's definitely wrong translator. Born to be the Yunyang Valley was the core of the Yunyang world. It was a place where yin and yang converged, a mystical space where life and death merged. The yin-yang world was actually two worlds, one yin world and one yang world. The yang world was the side of life, and it was the world they were currently exploring. As for the yin world, it was a world of death. Death energy filled that place. Any life that entered would be destroyed. There were legends that some terrifying existences resided within the yin world, but legends were just legends. There was no concrete proof. The energy of the yin world and the yang world was in a constant cycle. Every now and then, there would be a yin-yang tide. When the life energy and death energy merged, when the stars aligned, the Tao of life and death would be displayed for all to see. 
that was greatly beneficial to anyone wanting to comprehend life and death in an attempt to advance to the nether passage realm in the future. It would lay a certain foundation for that moment, greatly improving their odds of advancing. So the Yun Yang Valley was the greatest treasure in the Yun Yang world for these disciples. Mist was starting to gather in the air, hiding the sun. That meant that Yun Yang Valley's tide was about to begin. This was a very important moment. If Yi Lingxian hadn't gathered the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance, then once they hurried off to the Yun Yang Valley one by one, they would be sending themselves to their deaths. You're the leader. I want to hear what you're thinking, said Long Chen. Yi Lingxian said, I was planning on going to the Yun Yang Valley today. After all, with so many people, we aren't as fast, and to maintain our peak combat state, it will take a day to arrive. That had been her plan, but Long Chen actually wanted them to wait three days. That didn't fit into her plan, but she understood Long Chen well. Each of his moves had some motive. Actually, I completely support Miss Ling Shen's idea. Mo Nian immediately nodded. Why? asked Long Chen. There's no why. Miss Ling Shen's choices are all fully supported by me. As long as she gave me the order, I would work like a dog to accomplish it, said Mo Nian solemnly. Long Chen almost shivered. Wasn't this too direct? He could feel goosebumps rising. Yi Lingxian blushed slightly. These words weren't subtle at all. However, she was experienced with the way of the world, and she quickly returned to normal. Long Chen, I want to hear your thoughts. Actually, your idea is entirely correct. If we go now while the other side has yet to finish their preparations, we can definitely cause some damage. However, if we go that quickly, my dragon blood legion won't arrive on time. They're only just coming out of seclusion now and will need three days to enter their peak condition. Furthermore, the yin yang tide doesn't have any use at the start. It's only three days later when the yin and yang energy combines, when the golden sand appears. Right. It's also called the golden tide. That's the real critical moment. As long as we arrive before the golden tide, we will still be baptized by the life and death tide increasing our comprehension. That's enough. As for the rest of the tide, they can do whatever they want with it, said Long Chen indifferently. The Yun Yang tide as a whole wasn't important. What was important was the golden tide. It lasted for merely an incense stick's worth of time. Just getting there for that one stick's worth of time was enough. It was impossible to comprehend the mysteries of life and death during other times. More importantly, Long Chen didn't even care about the Golden Tide. He had the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's root that was growing in the primal chaos space. It had taken root. There was also Lu Ruiyan who had absorbed the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's primal chaos divine elixir and received the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's comprehension of life and death. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass had said that Lu Ruiyan would be able to control life and death energy in the future and would be able to easily help others comprehend life and death. So Long Chen's target wasn't the Golden Tide. It was Huo Liyan, Di Fang, True Immortal Jiaoki, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan, Ming Ji Ye, as well as those Fate Princes and the Blood Kill Hall's Divine Emissaries. This time, he was planning something big. This explanation put Yi Lingxian at ease. She had even been a bit worried that Long Chen wasn't planning on having the Dragon Blood Legion participate in this battle. But it was just as her master had said. While Long Chen didn't easily trust others, once he did, he would go all out to help you. Thank you. It's my duty. Nothing else. Ignoring everything else. Just based on the care that the Alliance head has given me, as well as her relationship with the old man, this matter is one of my top priorities. Other than that, many of my enemies are there. It just so happens I can settle things with them as well, said Long Chen. Then what are we doing now? We're just waiting, demanded Mo Nian. If we're bored, we can have a few people suddenly disappear. That will make those spies afraid and they might just scram. Mo Nian, you shouldn't be low-key during this time. If you're bored, you can teach those arrogant disciples a lesson. What we did just now is only temporary. It won't be long before they start getting arrogant. You might want to spar with them and let them know what respect is. I don't mind if you're a bit cruel. Otherwise. When they see someone like Ziluo, they might just charge forward idiotically and get themselves killed. That would affect morale, said Long Chen. 
an army of hundreds of thousands of people was very difficult to oversee. The Dragonblood Legion was originally only 360 people. There had been some tough thorns then too, but after being put in their place by Long Chen, they had become obedient. Later on, over 10,000 people had joined at once. That was a mass of thorns as well, but they were also put in their place by the old members. In the cultivation world, power was worshipped. Whoever's fist was harder was right. Yi Lingxin was the future alliance head, and for her to do these things wasn't too suitable. Long Chen was already bored of doing such a thing, so Mo Nian was the best option for handling this. Now he had an opportunity to openly show off in front of everyone. He wouldn't miss it. After receiving this order, Mo Nian directly patted his chest to Yi Lingxin, indicating that she shouldn't be too worried about it. He would handle it. Watching Mo Nian leave, Yi Lingxin turned to Long Chen. What's wrong with this fellow? He seems off. Off? He was pursuing her, but Mo Nian's method of doing so was truly a bit off. He didn't know how to be subtle at all. Mo Nian was currently acting like he would be working together with Yi Lingxin forever in the future, but Yi Lingxin knew that he was the main descendant of the Mo family and couldn't possibly become her subordinate. However, he was acting devoted and faithful to her, dumbfounding her. She actually didn't connect it to a romantic sentiment. Is he off? Maybe a bit, but it's understandable. Someone who spends all day robbing tombs probably doesn't spend much time interacting with the living. You'll get used to it, said Long Chen. During the next few days, the experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance learned what a true expert was. When Mo Nian exchanged pointers with them, he wouldn't even use a weapon. He would fight against divine items with his bare hands. He would defeat his opponents with one move. Even the strongest expert amongst them only lasted three moves. Quite a few people had challenged him at the start, but after Mo Nian beat a hundred people in a row, the rest submitted. Mo Nian was truly powerful. He had immense combat experience and was able to predict other people's moves easily. He quickly won quite a few worshippers for himself. Seeing him with women holding his arm, asking him to talk about some of his battles and tips, Long Chen felt that Mo Nian was about to float into the heavens. Even his smile was getting wretched. He's quite the flirt. Chu Yao leaned in and whispered into Long Chen's ear. Well, anyone would be pleased to have others say such flattering words to them, said Long Chen. We know, but at least you hide it well and don't act as obvious as Mo Nian. Chu Yao covered her mouth and laughed. Long Chen's smile stiffened. After righteously covering for Mo Nian, he had ended up drawing himself in, as if he was the same as Mo Nian. In the end, Mo Nian's bragging was the real thing. He had the experience of being attacked by Nether Passage experts. His experience in that regard was even greater than Long Chen's. However, when Mo Nian described his battles with those experts, when he described how dangerous it was, how he had counterattacked, how he had averted disaster, he never mentioned the earth-splitting divine shuttle. It was as if he had relied on his entire power to escape from an encirclement of Nether Passage experts. The experts listening were infatuated with his words and were feeling even greater worship for him. He wasn't just a braggart, but he was someone with the power and experience to back it up. Long Chen estimated that if he allowed Mo Nian to continue like this, then in less than three days, Yi Lingxin's position might get rocky. However, Mo Nian wasn't just bragging. He was answering some very important questions about how to protect oneself in battle and defeat enemies. This was greatly benefiting the experts listening. As Mo Nian bragged, Long Chen asked how Lu Ruian was. Chu Yao answered that she would quickly finish refining the primal chaos divine elixir in her body. Then she would be completely transformed. According to Lu Ruian, her undying willow race was a remnant of an immortal clan. However, her branch had declined and been unable to continue their inheritance resulting in all their disciples being scattered throughout every corner of the universe, hoping that they could one day continue their inheritance. This transformation was extremely important to her. Her power would rise to a completely new level. Time passed bit by bit. Just as there were only six hours left, someone hurriedly ran over Novaloon.com reporting to senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Four hours ago, 
Some brother saw disciples wearing the robes of the heaven splitting battle sect rushing in the direction of the Yun Yang Valley. That brother didn't think it was anything important and just mentioned it to me casually. But I felt like there was something odd about this. So I immediately came to report it. What's going on? Yi Lingxian was startled. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples had refused to come with them? Had they charged their way to the Yun Yang Valley on their own? No. Something's definitely wrong. Summon the army. We're leaving immediately. I'm going to see what's going on. Long Chen rushed off. Chapter 1893 Killing you will only take one move translator. Born to be there were 8,000 disciples of the heaven splitting battle sect being led by Chang Hao and Bao Buping. Those disciples were all gloomy and filled with killing intent. Their eyes were about to spit flames. Buping. Should we tell Long Chen about what happened? Asked Chang Hao. Long Chen's with Yi Lingxian right now. If we told him, Yi Lingxian would also be drawn over. The old man already said that even if we have to die, we can't owe a favor to the Martial Heaven Alliance. We can't make him lose face. Bao Buping shook his head. Although they also knew that telling Long Chen was the best option, they knew that the old man would curse them to death if they did so. They understood his temper. The old man and Ku Jianying were both fiery tempered, and neither was willing to lower their head to the other. As disciples of the heaven splitting battle sect, they had to uphold the old man's honor. That's true. Fuck. Who cares? When did men become so afraid of dying? Last time, we made them pay a painful price. This time, they set up a trap for us. But the heaven splitting battle sect's motto is that no matter if you have a trap or not, if you provoke us, we'll kill you. Even if we have to fight to the death, we'll get our money's worth. Anyone who doesn't kill at least a hundred experts in the same realm isn't a real man, shouted Chang Hao. Fuck, if I don't kill a thousand of them, I won't be able to rest in peace. I'll make those bastards pay. Others shouted along. A giant black curtain appeared ahead of them. The void rumbled around it. The area inside was the Yun Yang Valley, where the Yun Yang world's life and death energy intertwined. It was like two worlds constantly merging, and even the heavens were torn apart by this clash. There were hundreds of thousands of experts gathered in front of the Yun Yang Valley. These people belonged to the righteous path, corrupt path, ancient family alliance, ancient races, Xuan beasts, and other powers. They were currently standing in front of the valley because before the most optimal time, it was very difficult to comprehend anything from this place. They were waiting. Other than those experts, there was another group numbering in the tens of thousands who were standing not that far from them. These experts were those maintaining neutrality. Amongst them were people like Ku Fengsu and Ku Xuan. The ones standing in the neutral camp were those belonging to ancient families with profound foundations. They didn't need to rely on others, so as long as they didn't interfere in the fighting, no one else wanted to provoke them. Standing amongst the neutral faction was a man who was very curious. Behind him was a faint whirlpool. Inside that whirlpool, there was a giant die slowly spinning. When the 8,000 experts of the heaven-splitting battle sect arrived, everyone tensed up. These people really went too far. They actually cut off the heads of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples to draw these simple-minded fellows over. Despicable. That strange man shook his head. In front of that coalition army were over a hundred heads suspended in the air. The neutral faction's experts all felt great disgust at such conduct. Some were even angry. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were fiery and direct. But they were also the bravest warriors. Other than being difficult to get along with due to their fiery natures, they didn't have any bad reputations. In the large battles against the corrupt path, they had spilled their blood for the righteous path. They had made immense contributions. If this coalition army didn't have people from the righteous path, then perhaps they wouldn't mind as much. However, now there were people from the righteous path standing there, standing together with the corrupt path, ignoring those heads. That made their hearts turn cold. What a bunch of simple-minded fools. They actually fell for something so simple. Within the coalition army, Di Feng smiled contemptuously. Di Feng, Huo Lian, True Immortal Jiaoki, Zi Luo, Ji Yui Kan, Ming Ji Ye, and all the other peak heavenly geniuses had gathered. Of course, if they didn't fall for it, 
they wouldn't be disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect, said a scholarly man. He wore a Daoist band on his forehead and looked to possess the heir of immortal Tao. This man was one of the four fate princes from Heavenly Fate Island. However, now the four fate princes had become three. One of them, Luo Xianji, had been eliminated by Long Chen. News that Luo Xianji had been slain by Long Chen had spread through Heavenly Fate Island secret methods. They were all on guard against Long Chen. However, with the army gathered, the three of them could no longer continue hiding. There was also no need to keep hiding. They would also show their power in the upcoming battle, displaying their own brilliance. After killing a few of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples, they used their heads to draw the others over. This plan had even included the subtle connection between the heaven-splitting battle sect and the martial heaven alliance. Long Chen plans to come during the Golden Tide and launch a sneak attack. Even if he can't win, he'll disturb us so that no one can comprehend anything. His plan is pretty good. But does he think it'll go as planned? Sneered another one of the fate princes. They had seen through Long Chen's intentions. Kill, Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the other disciples immediately felt their heads buzzing upon seeing those suspended heads. Their fury overwhelmed their intelligence, and they charged forward. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples were very united and viewed each other as family. Now they were completely enraged thinking of only executing vengeance for their brothers. As for their own lives, they no longer cared. The only thing in their hearts was overflowing hatred. Attack together. Annihilate these idiots. Di Feng waved his hand, and countless experts charged out from their side. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples immediately launched a furious barrage of attacks. They seemed insane, and the tens of thousands of experts that went to block them were forced back. HMPH. So even brainless pigs have some ability. I'll cut down those two. One of the fate princes flew over, going straight at Chang Hao. Chang Hao furiously slashed his broadsword down. However, that fate prince didn't even look at Chang Hao's attack. Chang Hao had no idea how the fate prince did it, but his body seemed to easily sway past his attack while his ruler pierced towards Chang Hao's chest. Chang Hao coughed up blood and was knocked back. Chang Hao. Seeing Chang Hao being injured, Bao Buping let out a furious roar. He charged at that fate prince. Killing you will only take one move. The fate prince sneered. Bao Buping's three consecutive attacks all missed. It was like he was perfectly cooperating with his opponent. After the third attack, the fate prince's ruler pierced toward Bao Buping's head from a bizarre angle. This move was calculated perfectly, striking Bao Buping at the worst time. This fate prince's fighting style shocked all the experts present, even the likes of Huo Lian, Di Feng, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Di Feng were startled. This kind of attack style was practically supernatural. After all, both Bao Buping and Chang Hao were extremely powerful. They might even qualify to be ranked amongst Di Feng and the others. However, he was defeated so easily by that fate prince. This was their first time seeing the power of Heavenly Fate Island's disciples, and they were shocked. This was the goal that Fate Prince had been going for. Buping, Chang Hao couldn't save him. He let out a furious roar. The ruler shook and stopped right in front of Bao Buping's head. A hand had caught it. Long Chen, Bao Buping let out a delighted cry. Wrapped in black robes, his icy eyes looked like the gaze of a death god. Long Chen had come. Killing you will only take one move. That fate prince's ruler was pushed back by Long Chen, and the hilt smashed into his chest. As soon as that fate prince saw Long Chen, his mind went blank. He suddenly found that his golden fate lines had been severed, indicating that he was about to die. He couldn't recover from the shock of seeing that. Immersed in the terror of death, he died without being able to resist at all. Without even making a sound, he exploded into bloody mist. If he wasn't one of the fate princes, Perhaps he would have had the slightest chance of surviving. After all, experts all instinctively avoided mortal danger. But because he was a fate prince, upon reading that he was about to die, his mind went blank, and he was killed just like that. Long Chen killed a fate prince that had just shown off his power, causing a clamor. The power that the fate prince had just shown had been stunning enough. Who would have thought that he would be unable to receive even a single attack from Long Chen? Even as he died, 
The sound of Long Chen saying killing you will only take one move still hung in the air. Long Chen waved his hand, and those heads suspended in the air were pulled away by him. Long Chen, they humiliated our brothers. We have to kill them. Bao Buping and Chang Hao shouted in unison, filled with hatred. Don't worry, anyone who dares to kill my brothers will be paying me back a thousand times, said Long Chen. Long Chen was also infuriated, but for him. When his fury reached a certain level, he actually calmed down. Everyone from the heaven-splitting battle sect, retreat. Long Chen waved his hand. The first thing was to make the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples retreat. You think you can retreat just like that? Hand over your life. True immortal Jiaoki suddenly charged over, immediately activating his killin' power. His halberd blazed with light. Chapter 1894 The Great Battle Begins Translator Born to be following true immortal Jiaoki, the other experts also attacked. They knew that once they captured Long Chen, this fight would end before it started. This was also one of their goals in drawing over Bao Buping and the others. The only thing not part of their plans was that one of the fate princes would be slain by Long Chen in just one attack. They hadn't expected the Fate Princes to be so powerful. He had essentially toyed with Bao Buping, but he had been eliminated by Long Chen. However, even with that surprise, Long Chen had been drawn over here alone. This trap could count as a success. With everyone working together, they could instantly subdue Long Chen. Ten years I wandered with my Bao, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, the ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. A very melodious and poser chant rang out. Arrows rained down like meteors. The experts that had just charged forward were forced back in a panic by the hail of arrows. Mo Nian is present. Who dares to fight? Mo Nian raised his bow, standing in the sky with the blazing sun behind him. The sun made it so that they could see his figure, but not his face, making him look grand and mysterious. Di Feng snorted and immediately shot off at him. The other experts continued toward Long Chen. He was their main target. Sword light slashed down like a rainbow river. Yi Lingxian had also arrived. After that, the ground burst apart as wooden stakes shot out, looking like pythons leaping into the sky. They formed a giant net around the experts. Chu Yao was standing atop a wooden tower. As soon as Long Chen had learned what was going on with the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples, he had sent a message back to Chu Yao and the others, telling them that the battle was about to start and that the top experts had to immediately rush over, or it would be too late. Long Chen was already exchanging blows with true immortal Jiaoki. Mo Nian was mortal enemies with Di Fang, while the other experts unleashed powerful attacks, blowing apart Chu Yao's net. Yi Lingxian. You won't be getting away today. Gui Ken went after Yi Lingxian first. However, he had just moved when a sword blocked his path. It's you. Seeing that slender and veiled figure, Gui Ken immediately recognized Yu Ziaokian. Last time, I couldn't kill you, but I'll end things today. Yu Ziaokian unleashed a tempest of attacks at Gui Ken. Killing a demon woman is fine as well. We're no longer in the ancient tomb. So let's see if you still have the ability to fight me. Gui Ken sneered. Last time, he had been suppressed. So now he could restore his prestige. As soon as Yu Ziaokian blocked Gui Ken, one of the other corrupt kings, Miang Jie, clashed with Yi Lingxian. With multiple peak experts exchanging blows, the entire world was filled with explosive divine might. Each of their actions caused the world to shake. Twelve divine flame guards. Capture that woman. Huo Lian and Zi Luo were being blocked by Chu Yao's endless wooden stakes. Not wanting to waste any more time, Huo Lian suddenly shouted. From the giant army, twelve experts of the Flame Divine Palace flew out. They charged at Chu Yao, wielding flame blades. These experts were surrounded by flame runes emitting shocking fluctuations. The Flame Divine Palace is actually this powerful, based on their auras. They're only slightly weaker than Huo Lian and the others. How terrifying. The Flame Divine Palace was actually hiding so many experts. Within the neutral camp, quite a few people felt a chill. A huge battle was about to erupt. The twelve of them attacked together, and their movements were well coordinated. 
12 flame blades slashed onto the same spot, creating a giant hole in Chu Yao's net. Chu Yao was startled. These 12 people were very powerful, but most terrifying of all, their minds seemed to be linked. They fought in perfect unison. Their power could support each other and allow them to unleash explosive might. With the net destroyed, Zi Luo and Huo Lian charged out of Chu Yao's blockade to Long Chen's battlefield. Chu Yao was about to stop them when those 12 experts blocked her. You should pay more attention to yourself. The 12 of them were speaking in unison as well, to the point that it was like just one person was speaking. 12 flame blades unleashed an attack at the same time. However, this time they came from 12 different angles. Boom. A giant willow tree appeared behind Chu Yao, and endless leaves shot down, destroying those attacks. The undying willow had appeared. Willow branches shot out, as heavy as mountains but as quick as lightning. What the appearance of this undying willow caught everyone off guard. In that one instant of shock, the willow branches pierced through the bodies of the twelve experts. The twelve of them let out a simultaneous roar. A rune appeared on each of their foreheads, and light linked them together. They attempted to incinerate the branches piercing their bodies. These branches contained horrifying wood and death energy. If they didn't remove them quickly, they would die. Other experts would already be dead, but the twelve of them trained in a strange cultivation technique, allowing them to link their flame energy to increase their power. Chu Yao poured her own spiritual yuan into Lu Ruian's body, wanting to assist her in slaying those twelve powerful experts. However, just at that moment, a sword appeared out of midair. The blade was clear like water, stabbing toward the back of her heart. One of the divine emissaries, Chu Yao's heart shook. She had completely locked down this area with her aura, but someone was still able to sneak up on her. Only an assassin on that level could do such a thing. She instinctively moved forward, dodging the divine emissary's sword. However, just at that moment, her expression changed. She shouted, Ruian, he's after you. The instant that she dodged the sword, the killing intent contained in the sword vanished. Only then did she realize that she had fallen for a trap. How could an expert on the level of the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissaries possibly expose their killing intent? It was clearly intentional to create an opening. The place where she was at was the core of the Undying Willow. If attacked in such a place, Luruian would receive a heavy injury. Divine light sparkled on the sword. If it stabbed into the Undying Willow's main trunk, then even an Undying Willow wouldn't be able to endure it. Chu Yao, watch out, there's another one. Long Chen's voice suddenly rang out. Chu Yao was startled and suddenly unleashed a wave of flower petals that filled the sky. She quickly noticed a figure within those endless flower petals. Boom. Eighteen wooden dragons charged through that figure. However, that figure was empty. It was like it was an illusion. Just at this moment, Luruian's branches formed a giant cage. She directly trapped the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissary that had attacked her. Unfortunately, being forced to defend, she had no choice but to give up on killing the twelve experts of the Divine Flame Palace. She began a furious barrage of attacks toward the assassin. Her branches formed a cage that kept him locked in. No matter how he attacked, he was unable to break through their blockade. Luruian was no longer the old Luruian. She had obtained life and death energy. Her branches were tougher, sharper, and so powerful that even divine items wouldn't be able to easily break them. She had millions of branches, and they shrank, their power condensing. That assassin couldn't go anywhere. Be careful. I'm going to eliminate this assassin, but it'll take some time. Luruian sent a message to Chu Yao. She had bound the divine emissary, but he was still a powerful existence. He wouldn't just obediently wait for his death. Within the cage of willow branches, that assassin was using his divine item to hack at the cage. The branches were constantly being blown apart, but then they regrew. This was also a kind of attrition. Everyone, attack, destroy those branches. Defung saw things weren't going as planned. Following his shout, the experts finally recovered from their shock. They began launching attacks. The Martial Heaven Alliance's army is here. Don't get arrogant. You shameful bastards. Just at this moment, the Martial Heaven Alliance's army of over 600,000 people charged. Their voices shook the sky. 
The leader is already fighting with her life on the line. Brothers, what are you waiting for? Kill the traitors. Execute the schemers. Slay the devils. The time to leave your names in history is here. The two armies clashed, starting a furious battle. No one could have any wishful thinking, and they were fighting with the determination of facing death. Those afraid of death hadn't answered Yi Lingxian's call. Seeing this scale, for the first time, Long Chen felt confidence in the righteous path. There were still many hot-blooded people. The experts attacking Lu Ruiyan were forced to switch to defending against this giant army. They had no personal ties to some assassin of the Blood Kill Hall and were looking out for themselves. When both armies were added together, there were over a million people. In the first clash, blood dyed the earth, blood dyed the sky, and blood dyed people's eyes. Chapter 1895 Yuzifeng vs. The Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary Translator Born to be battle was bitter, painful, and frantic. As the people beside you fell one by one, lives were disappearing from the world forever. It brought endless pain and hatred. The only way to vent this anger and hatred was to kill your enemies. The corrupt path was the righteous path's mortal enemy. The enmity between the two sides had been built up over countless years. It could only be washed away with more blood. As for those people that were originally maintaining neutrality but were now standing on the side of the corrupt path, they had also become enemies. The most unacceptable thing was that amongst those people were their former comrades of the righteous path. This was an unforgivable betrayal. Those without any courage had acted like they hadn't received Yi Lingxian's summons. They had slipped away, choosing the coward's path. Those who were left might be young or still had youth's vigor left in them. In either case, they still had hot blood flowing through their veins. They knew that without the Martial Heaven Alliance, the righteous path would not be able to survive. They would end up becoming slaves. Not all the Righteous Path's experts were cowards and fond of scheming against each other. There were also many courageous heroes unafraid of death. Just as these armies of hundreds of thousands started their clash, the void rumbled. Roars rang out from the outer regions, and an endless tide of experts charged over from every direction. Fools of the Righteous Path, did you really think we only had these few people? You'll all be dying here today. Huo Lian laughed. This was a trap. The army that had been standing here openly at the start was just a portion of their forces. Even more experts had been lying in wait. There had only been 500,000 people in the army lying in front of the Yunyang Valley. However, over 1,500,000 experts were hiding throughout the outer region. Huo Lian had been worried that Long Chen and the others wouldn't dare to come if they saw so many people. So they had put on a weak front to bait them in. Their appetite was truly large. Kill. The huge army charged. They were like bloodthirsty beasts wearing sinister smiles. Suddenly, the ground shook. Before that army even arrived, twelve flame blades sliced toward Chu Yao. The twelve of them besieged her. As a result, Chu Yao summoned an endless stream of wooden stakes, defending herself. The worst thing was that she also had to be on guard against the sudden sneak attack of the other divine emissary of Bloodkill Hall. Even with her skill in defense, she was unable to block their continuous stream of attacks. Her wooden stakes were blown apart rapidly. Just as she retreated, the third divine emissary appeared, launching a fatal blow. However, he had just appeared when a single and ordinary sword slashed toward his waist. The sword was simple, but the will of the sword Dao was contained within it. The divine emissary's hair stood on end, and he hastily blocked. Sparks flew along with a burst of sword light. An icy-faced man appeared in the air. Who are you? Demanded the divine emissary. Fourth captain of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion, Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng had arrived. However, he no longer appeared the same as before. He himself wasn't different. It was his sword that had changed. His current sword gave off an ancient aura, seeming to merge with his body. It was difficult to discern where the sword ended and where the man began. Although his sword was now sheathed, a sharp light was still escaping. That light was chilling. Yu Zifeng had finally abandoned his normal sword, and now he appeared like a completely different person. He had become aloof, colder. For a person like you to use a sword is blasphemy to the sword. Your life ends here. Yu Zifeng's arm reached back. It was impossible to even see his movements, as no one even saw him grab his sword. 
All they saw was something that appeared to be a streak of lightning slicing apart the dome of the sky, slicing through all laws. Boom. The blood kill hall's divine emissary couldn't dodge, and despite doing his best to defend, he coughed up a mouthful of blood and was sent flying. The sword is sacred among weapons, but you actually use it in such a shameful manner. You insult the sword Dao. Today, I'll kill you to maintain the honor of the sword. Yu Zifeng's sword spun through the air. After forming a sword seal with his left hand, the tip of his sword shook, emitting a beautiful lotus flower. As it bloomed, all of heaven and earth were sealed. At the center of the lotus was the tip of Yu Zifeng's sword. The sword itself wasn't very fancy. It was simple and direct. But the blossoming lotus Yu Zifeng had unleashed through the heavenly deos into chaos. It was like everything in this world was under the control of Yu Zifeng's sword. The assassin let out a roar, and his manifestation unfurled. Endless energy streamed into his body from his manifestation. Just as he was about to face Yu Zifeng's sword with all his power, Yu Zifeng snorted and his sword turned away from its target. Instead of slicing the divine emissary, Yu Zifeng's sword sliced through the manifestation behind the divine emissary. Divine light flowed through the sword cutting apart the very heavens. Nothing was invulnerable in front of that sword. The manifestation behind the divine emissary was actually sliced in two and slowly fell apart in the sky. What heavens? How is that possible this sight dumbfounded everyone? How could a heavenly Tao manifestation be sliced apart? Was that some kind of power above the heavenly Deos? Having his manifestation sliced shocked the divine emissary. He found himself severed from heavenly Tao energy. Yu Zifeng's sword fell, and the divine emissary hastily blocked. However, without his heavenly Tao energy, his power had dropped sharply. The sword Qi landed on his body and almost cut him in two. He was absolutely appalled. He was the strongest of the three divine emissaries, the so-called heaven slayer of the heaven, earth, and man slayer ranks. As for the one who was trapped by Lu Ruiyan and on his deathbed struggle, he was the earth slayer divine emissary. In the blood kill hall, there was a certain rule, and that was that their assassins would not accept missions to assassinate sword cultivators. They also wouldn't fight them because sword cultivators were the bane of assassins. However, the Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary had been extremely conceited, thinking that he could break that rule. He had also secretly assassinated several sword cultivators, thinking that this legend of sword cultivators was false. However, Yu Zifeng had broken that confidence. His terrifying sword Dao felt completely unstoppable to him. The Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary once more summoned his manifestation. His injuries instantly healed, and he suddenly summoned 81 clones, each of them with an identical aura to his own. Yu Zifeng's expression was cold. Not even looking at the clones charging toward him, he slashed behind him. The true body amongst those clones was sent flying once more and coughed up blood. Illusion arts can only trick people's eyes and ears. As long as a person has no fear or desire in their hearts, can the heart be tricked? Yu Zifeng sneered and once more charged after him. Each slash of Yu Zifeng's sword injured the divine emissary. None of his attacks missed. This terrifying assassin didn't even have the power to retaliate in front of him. What a terrifying sword cultivator. He's not an Empyrean, but even without any heavenly Tao energy, he can slice apart heaven and earth. Sword cultivators could be said to be a rare profession. Although over half of cultivators used swords, those people weren't actually focused on the sword Tao. The so-called sword cultivators were those who had given their entire lives to the sword. Other than the sword, they would have nothing else. The majority of people viewed the sword as nothing more than a tool for battle. Hence. There was an immense difference between the two sides. Sword cultivators might even be called fanatics. The divine emissary roared furiously. He tried 17 different movements arts to get away, but they were all useless. No matter how he dodged, he would have to face Yu Zifeng's sword. If he didn't block, he would die. Bastard. Just wait. Finally, he crumbled. He couldn't fight Yu Zifeng. None of his abilities worked against him. With a furious roar, he actually faded, vanishing in midair. A clamor erupted amongst the neutral camp's experts. The Blood Kill Hall's divine emissary was actually fleeing. However, he had just vanished when Yu Zifeng's sword lit up again. He sliced the void, 
and a panicked figure came tumbling out of the opening he made. It was the divine emissary, so he didn't really escape but used some magical art to block himself from being sensed. Hiding right in front of us, someone on the divine emissary's level had reached a practically perfect level in this technique. It was essentially impossible to see anything off when he wanted to conceal himself. However, no matter how amazing the trick, once it was exposed, it no longer seemed mysterious. The Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary coughed up blood. He had been injured again when Yu Zifeng's sword forced him out of the void. You aren't qualified to run in front of me, said Yu Zifeng, his sword once more slashing out. The Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary roared. He tried to run, and his figure flitted through the air, but he was never able to escape the range of Yu Zifeng's sword. Yu Zifeng was chasing after the Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary. Lu Ruian was attacking the other Divine Emissary, and Chu Yao was fighting against the Flame Divine Palace's 12 experts. However, during this time, the Martial Heaven Alliance's army was attacked from the front and behind. They were in a critical state. The 1,500,000 experts that had been hiding included several existences with terrifying auras. They were actually experts on the same level as Di Feng and the others. Martial Heaven Alliance Today is the day of your destruction there were three powerful experts of the ancient races laughing as they slaughtered the army of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Suddenly, a golden arrow shot through the air, exploding at their feet. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon. Tis I, the unrivaled hero Guo Ran, following that arrow's explosion. A chant rang out through the air. Chapter 1896 Guo Ran's Power One Shot KO Translator Born to be the giant arrow exploded and unleashed a mass of fragments that enveloped everything within a hundred miles. The experts at the core of the explosion were instantly obliterated. Those with divine items protecting their bodies barely managed to survive. But they were coughing up blood. What damn thing was that? Nothing was left in an area of dozens of miles. There wasn't a single blade of grass still alive. The sharp fragments that had flown out tore through armor, and they rapidly spun from the force of the explosion. Bastard. These are divine item fragments. One of the experts had been struck by one of the fragments, but relying on his divine item, he had managed to block it. As a result, he noticed that this fist-sized fragment was actually part of a divine item. It was no wonder it was so sharp and easily tore through armor. Just at this moment, more arrows shot over, exploding in their midst. Guo Ran was standing in the sky, holding a giant golden crossbow, shooting arrow after arrow. The head of these giant arrows was filled with divine item fragments. Although their power was a far cry from the detonation of a divine item, even Empyreans would be killed if they were in the effective explosion area. They would only be able to survive if they had a divine item level armor. These fragments had been given to Guo Ran by Long Chen, while the intact divine items had been distributed to those who could use them. However, there was a portion of bizarre divine items that no one was skilled with, so Guo Ran had smashed them apart for their fragments. Kill that golden monstrosity Guo Ran had already shot over a hundred arrows. Those arrows had killed tens of thousands of experts. However, if you compared it to the army of 1,500,000, it wasn't a devastating blow. The real effect was a vicious blow to their morale. Guo Ran's actions fully provoked them. Three ancient race experts shot after him, their manifestations appearing behind them. Their auras weren't weaker than Di Fang, true immortal Jiaoki, and the others. The ancient races also sent out three peak experts, exclaimed someone from the neutral camp. That's normal. If you think about it, the corrupt path sent their three kings. The Blood Kill Hall sent three divine emissaries, Heavenly Fate Island sent their four fate princes, and Pill Valley sent those twelve experts on top of Hugh O'Leon. Since this is the case, the ancient races naturally have to send experts on that level. There are also two powerful experts from the ancient family alliance hiding in the crowd. They should be two peak experts sent in addition to Defung then you mean even the Shuen beasts have more than just true immortal Jiaoki? Heavens. I just noticed two of them, through that person's deduction. Others noticed two terrifying Schwen Beast experts hidden in the crowd. They hadn't joined the fight, 
but the fluctuations coming out of them were heavy like a mountain. It seems the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, Schwen beasts, Bloodkill Hall, Heavenly Fate Island, and Pill Valley are planning on completely annihilating the elites of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Without the fracturing of the interior of the Martial Heaven Alliance, such a thing would be impossible. It could only be said that the Martial Heaven Alliance's problem is within itself. Within the neutral camp, a woman tightly held another woman's hand. She begged, Big sister, go help Long Chen. After all, he saved me. The one speaking was Qi Xuan, while the one she was begging was Qi Fengsu. They had just happened to encounter Long Chen in the Yun Yang world. Qi Fengsu sighed, We can't help with this. Why not? Qi Xuan was very disappointed. Our heaven reaching ancient castle exists because of an agreement with the other powers. We can be independent because we don't interfere with their struggles. But if we did, it would be breaking the rules of our alliance. Not only can I not interfere, but these people standing here on the neutral side also can't. If we did, we would be drawn into this whirlpool. If we entered this whirlpool, our heaven reaching ancient castle would be drawn in as well. So don't blame your big sister, said Chi Fengsu helplessly. These neutral powers could not participate in other people's grudges. So other powers didn't want to provoke them, allowing them to maintain a peaceful territory. However, if they were to take the initiative to enter the whirlpool, then they would be breaking the rules of that treaty. In the future, they would have to join either the Martial Heaven Alliance or Pill Valley's side. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to escape unscathed. So even though Long Chen had shown kindness to Qi Xuan, and not helping him during this time would be like refusing to pay back the favor, Qi Fengsu still couldn't do anything. It would implicate her whole family. If I wasn't from a neutral power, I'd definitely join Long Chen. Pill Valley's actions are unacceptable. I'd even describe them as vile, added someone else. As people from neutral parties, they were able to see things clearer than others who were part of the struggle. That was the difference between people who were part of the game and people who were outside the game. It's a pity. The difference is too immense. Even if Long Chen grew three heads and six arms, he wouldn't be able to turn things around. Someone else sighed regretfully. On the battlefield, Long Chen was fighting against Huo Lian, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo. Although he was at full power with his divine ring spinning behind him, he was still at a disadvantage. Huo Lian, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo attacked frantically, not letting Long Chen have any chance to use a paragon art. This was their safest way of subduing him, as well as the most effective. Even trying to drag one of them down with him would be very difficult. The other battlefields were mostly even. Only Yu Zifan was at an advantage, dominating the Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary. However, that Divine Emissary was also a peak expert. And even if he was countered by Yu Zifeng as a sword cultivator, he was able to last for a while. The three ancient race experts flew over at Guo Ran. They looked like they wanted to immediately tear him apart. Ignorant children, you dare to challenge your daddy Guo? Using my boss's words, killing you will only take one move. Which one of you three dares to send yourself to death first? Or do you want to come together? Guo Ran put away his crossbow. Instead summoning his golden armor and a pair of sabers, he pointed one of the sabers at the three ancient race experts. Die. One of the ancient race experts took the lead, his battle axe shining. If the three of them attacked at once, it would be elevating Guo Ran's status, as well as lowering their own. TCH. For someone like you, it would be my loss if you could even break my golden battle armor's defenses, taunted Guo Ran. His armor also lit up and he crossed his sabers in front of him, taking on a defensive posture. Today I'll shatter this tortoise shell of yours. The ancient race expert raised his battle axe. A terrifying divine might raged. Dragon blood cross slash. Just as that expert was preparing to unleash a powerful paragon art, Guo Ran let out a shout. The void shook and over 12,000 dragon blood warriors appeared in the distance. Their bodies lit up, and rays of light merged into Guo Ran's body. A giant cross slashed out. The center of it struck the ancient race expert. That ancient race expert had been summoning a paragon art. Just as he was about to finish, he suddenly saw this attack. 
causing his expression to change. He wanted to dodge, but his paragon art had already been prepared. He was caught. He had no time to unleash it and no time to dispel it. His head was blank. A single thought appeared. He had been taken in. The giant cross blew him apart along with the initial form of his paragon art. The immense power sent the other two ancient race experts flying. They wildly vomited blood. This sudden attack and result was unbelievable to the spectators. Just like that, a peak expert had been slain? Furthermore, he was slain by a nameless nobody. He's called Guo Ran? How come I've never heard of him? Asked a person in the neutral camp. He actually does have some fame. He got into the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings, but there was a great deal of controversy over his ranking. Apparently, his cultivation base is average, his talent is very lacking, and his actual combat power is garbage. However, he is skilled in the forging arts, and just by relying on his armor, he is able to fight against peak experts. How sinister. He intentionally acted like he was going to defend, baiting his opponent into attacking only to unleash a sudden attack as his opponent's paragon art reached a critical moment. That person's death was quite unjust. No matter what, being able to use a paragon art meant that you were a peak expert. However, such a figure had died just like this. It gave others a strange feeling. Come, that one didn't count. Let's see who can break my defense. Guo Ran once more took the same posture, facing the two furious ancient race experts. Fuck off. The two of them naturally wouldn't fall for it again. Wielding their divine items, they charged at Guo Ran. First captain of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion, Gu Yang, is here for pointers. A spear pierced through the air, and a bald warrior charged at one of the ancient race experts, his entire body covered in blood colored scales. Boom. Their two divine items clashed, ripping apart the void. The ancient race expert was knocked back by Gu Yang's spear. Stunned. Everyone else was also stunned. Yu Zifen was beating the Heaven Slayer Divine Emissary. And now Gu Yang had forced back this ancient race expert. Were all the warriors of the Dragonblood Legion so terrifying? Each captain had the power of a peak expert? Just as Gu Yang attacked, the sky dimmed. A giant wing slammed down at the other ancient race expert. Chapter 1897 The Golden Tide Translator Born to be a multicolored wing smashed down from the sky. Brilliant light erupted out of it. Cloud had now refined the blue eye peacock's essence blood, and her aura had transformed. The power of her attack shook the sky. Boom. The ancient race expert hastily activated his divine item, only to be sent flying by Cloud's attack. Cloud let out a crystal clear bird cry. A black ray of light shot after that expert. The ancient race expert roared. His manifestation shook, and the roaring of countless beasts suddenly came from it. He was going all out, unleashing his divine item and activating his paragon art. He had no other choice. The instant Cloud's attack appeared, his hair stood on end. This was a terrifying attack that he couldn't take lightly. The light of a paragon art filled the sky. Two forbidden powers clashed, causing heaven and earth to rumble. Heavens, when did so many terrifying existences appear in the Dragonblood Legion? Startled cries came from the neutral camp. Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and Cloud had shown power equivalent to a peak expert. Brothers of the Martial Heaven Alliance, don't panic. This so-called army is nothing more than a mob. Dragonblood Legion, attack. Guo Ran gave a rallying cry. Golden wings spread on his back, and he charged toward the rear army. Bastard, come at me if you have any gods. I'll smash apart your tortoise shell. Someone from the Xuan beast suddenly charged toward Guo Ran. This expert was also a peak expert. His status was only slightly lower than true immortal Jiaoki, and his combat power was only slightly, slightly lower than him. You, killing someone else would only take one move, but as for you, you're not even fit to fight me. Guo Ran actually ignored him, charging toward the ordinary experts. Second captain of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion, Li Qi, here for a challenge. The ground suddenly split open, and an earthen giant climbed out. Li Qi was standing on top of its head when it first climbed up, but then he merged within it. Golden runes flowed around the earthen giant. Rather than being made of earth, it now seemed to be made of gold. It came to life. 
unleashing a powerful punch at that Schwen Beast expert. The Schwen Beast expert unleashed an all-out attack but was still sent flying. Although the Golden Giant was huge, it was surprisingly agile. The Schwen Beast expert started a furious battle against the Golden Giant. However, just at that moment, on the other side, another Golden Giant climbed out of the ground. Third captain of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion, Song Mingyuan, here for advice. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi were the same. They were both powerful earth cultivators, but through the purification of their bloodline, by stimulating the potential of their ancestors' blood, a mutation had occurred in their earth energy, giving birth to a trace of metal energy. Their normal earth and giants were powerful but lacked a certain toughness, a certain supplyability. In a direct clash, their bodies would easily crumble. By adding this metal energy, their movements became smoother. Most importantly, Guo Ran, with his heaven-defying karmic luck, had led the Dragonblood Legion through the Yin-Yang world, and he had found a secret tome relating to earth cultivators. The two of them had learned emerging art, allowing them to become one with these golden giants. The two golden giants gave off immense pressure to the other side, while the morale of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples soared. Guo Ran had already reached the rear army. His golden sabers were slaughtering his enemies, with no one able to stop him. These golden sabers were no longer his old golden sabers. They were a pair of divine items Long Chen had gained after killing a Xuan Beast expert. With a pair of divine items, Guo Ran was like a tiger with wings. Die. Guo Ran had just charged into the opposing army when two figures appeared, one coming from the left and the other coming from the right. Their auras gave off a chilling feeling. They were from the ancient family alliance. The truth was that the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, Xuan beasts, Pill Valley, Bloodkill Hall, and Heavenly Fate Island had made a meticulous trap using the Yin Yang world. They had sent out powerful killers to make sure that Long Chen never left the Yin Yang world alive. As a result, they had sent their elite geniuses. Other than Pill Valley, all the other powers had sent at least three peak experts each. These peak experts had been hidden from the rest of the world. As for these two experts from the ancient family alliance, they were on the same level as Defang. The two of them had just attacked when tearing sounds appeared. The void was being torn apart by divine feathers slicing through the air like swords. Men Chi had appeared to counter them. The two ancient family alliances experts slashed their divine items into the feathers, causing booming noises to ring out. Men Chi was surrounded by flying divine feathers. They were incomparably sharp. Even without cloud, Men Chi was able to block them. A storm of wind blade suddenly unfurled as Tang Wanner also joined. She and Men Chi each took one of these two ancient family alliance experts. Their sharp attacks forced them to retreat over and over again. Just at this moment, the Dragonblood Legion arrived at the battlefield. Over 12,000 Dragonblood warriors charged in. They showed people why a battle was bloody, why it was cruel, why it was violent. All the Dragonblood warriors were covered in red scale armor. They were like revived evil dragons. Currently, over 2,000 of the Dragonblood warriors were Empyreans. Although the majority were still rank 9 Celestials, their power caused even the Empyreans to shiver. The current Dragonblood warriors were the true Dragonblood warriors. They had finished refining the evil dragon essence blood. In fact, the density of their dragon blood was even greater than Long Chen's. After all, Long Chen had only absorbed a single drop of dragon blood, while the metal devouring evil dragon had been waiting for a chance for nirvanic rebirth, resulting in it collecting a great deal of essence blood. The dragon blood warriors were like death gods. As soon as they entered the battlefield, they started a slaughter. They cut through their enemies like cabbages. Flesh and blood flew. I've long since heard the rumors that the Dragonblood Legion is the number one Legion of the continent, but this power is even greater than the rumors. Even the people of the neutral camp were stunned, their voices shuddering. The most chilling thing was that the Dragonblood warriors were eerily calm as they slaughtered their enemies. They didn't wear any expressions. That was even more frightening than having sinister expressions. The Dragonblood warriors essentially cut people down with one move each. They rarely needed a second move. Anyone who met their calm gazes would immediately tremble. If it was just one or two, or even just a few hundred such experts, 
that would be acceptable. However, there were over 10,000 of them. Each of them was a top expert, a slaughter machine. The scales of the battlefield instantly shifted. The army that had been lying in wait and had surrounded the Martial Heaven Alliance's army from the outside were thrown into chaos. The Dragonblood Warriors' killing efficiency made their enemies feel despair. They were finally afraid. In just the first clash, tens of thousands of their people were slain. The rest retreated in terror. The entire battlefield tilted in favor of the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, Long Chen's side was still a cause for concern. He was surrounded by Huo Lian, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo. He was relying entirely on his celestial lightning body blink to keep up with them. He was at a complete disadvantage, but the three of them didn't seem to be in a hurry. With the three of them working together, there was little chance of a reversal. Why do I feel like Huo Lian, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo aren't going all out? Am I misjudging things? Asked someone from the neutral camp. It does seem like they haven't gone all out. Their only goal is Long Chen. They don't seem to care about the others' lives. The three of them seem to plan on wearing away Long Chen's energy. Once he's out of energy, they'll go all out to kill him. Guessed someone. Boom. Suddenly, the world shook. Yin and Yang energy gathered within the Yin Yang Valley, creating a giant tide of energy. Life and death energy formed an illusory space. The golden tide has arrived. Startled cries rang out. For some reason, the golden tide was coming a few hours earlier than expected. Snatch away the golden tide. Don't let these idiots get it. Shouted Guo Ran. The Dragonblood Legion immediately slaughtered their way into the golden tide region. At the same time, the people in the neutral camp also flew over. The area of the golden tide wasn't very large. The neutral camp's experts immediately carved out their own territory within it upon entering, creating a clear dividing line. Life and death energy had condensed into black and white mist in the sky. It was extremely dense. This could bring a special realm where life and death alternated, allowing them to understand its profundities easier. Based on Di Feng and the others' plans, they were supposed to have already killed Long Chen and the others before the Golden Tide started. Now that it was starting early, both sides were somewhat at a loss. However, the Dragonblood Legion wasn't. They pushed forward, creating a path. Brothers of the Martial Heaven Alliance, hurry and enter the Golden Tide. The Dragonblood Legion will be your protectors. Guo Ran was the first of the Dragonblood Legion to enter the Golden Tide. He was essentially a killing machine. No one could stop him. Not only did he have his Golden Divine Sabers, but he also had hidden mechanisms he could use whenever he wanted. The Dragonblood Warriors quickly created a path, allowing the over 300,000 disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance to enter the Golden Tide region. After that immense clash, the Martial Heaven Alliance's army had lost half their number. As for the coalition army of over 2 million experts, they numbered under 800,000 now. This had been an extremely miserable battle. Corpses were piled into mountains and rivers of blood flowed. The surviving army of the Martial Heaven Alliance entered the Golden Tide, while the Dragonblood Legion spread out, protecting them, not letting the Coalition Army approach them. Light was released from each of their bodies, creating a giant barrier. Do your best to peacefully comprehend the mysteries of life and death within. As long as the Dragonblood Warriors don't die, there's no need to worry about your lives. Announced Guo Ran. Chapter 1898 Berserk True Immortal Jiaoki Translator. Born to be the Dragonblood Warriors were defending the outer region of the Golden Tide. And more and more disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were entering the Golden Tide to comprehend the law of life and death. What about you? Asked one of the disciples to the Dragonblood Warriors. Although this was his sole encounter with the Dragonblood Warriors, he felt great respect and gratitude toward them. To have been able to fight alongside such people filled him with pride. He couldn't help asking. We're not interested in the Golden Tide. Our only goal is to kill people. Don't waste any more time. Shouted back one of the Dragonblood Warriors. He directly tossed that disciple who was about to speak again into the Golden Tide. Life and death energy continuously transformed and evolved inside the Golden Tide. Starlight flickered. Countless manifestations appeared and faded. This was an incredibly rare opportunity. 
Although the various large powers had other treasures that could raise a person's comprehension of life and death, they had at most one or two such treasures, while there might be over ten candidates to compete for it. On the other hand, anyone standing in the golden tide could enjoy the same benefits. The neutral camp's experts had already carved out an area for themselves. They sat down, entering a meditative state. However, some experts were only quietly standing there. They didn't seem to care too much about the life and death energy around them. They were still focused on the battlefield. Either they had a certain confidence in comprehending life and death themselves, or they didn't care about this life and death energy, or they could comprehend it without entering a meditative state. Seeing the Dragonblood warriors abandon their chance to comprehend life and death to protect them, the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were filled with gratitude. They hastily sat down and did their best to comprehend the energy around them. They knew that the Golden Tide would only last for a short time. Once it was over, they would no longer have the chance. The Dragonblood warriors had formed a giant circle around them, protecting them. They slaughtered their enemies. Now that the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples had entered the Golden Tide, all the pressure was on the Dragonblood warriors. Now, suddenly, a roar rang out. It was unknown from whom it came, but the ground burst apart all of a sudden. Countless experts from the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, and the Schwen beasts charged out from beneath the ground. So they actually had another trap. A startled cry came from the neutral camp. The speaker had arrived here very early, but there had already been a large army guarding this place when he had arrived. At that time, he had felt it to be strange. Now seeing so many experts suddenly charge out of the ground, he suddenly understood. Perhaps they had set up a giant transportation formation in advance. This group of experts was their secret weapon. Their previous clash had caused heavy losses on both sides. Whether it was the Martial Heaven Alliance or the Coalition Army, both sides had lost over half their people. However, things still hadn't reached the climax. Now that the Dragonblood Warriors were defending the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples in the Golden Tide, they had nowhere to retreat. That was because behind them were the lives that they were protecting. The Coalition Army launched this secret attack to give the Righteous Path a thunderous blow. Neither the Dragonblood Legion nor the Martial Heaven Alliance's army would have any chance of surviving. This giant army continued to surge out of the ground, and their numbers had reached 500,000. With so many newcomers arriving, it caused another reversal of the battlefield. What a frightening scheme. This time, the Dragonblood Legion might be doomed. Having fallen for this trap, they won't even have a chance to run. Although the neutral camp's people weren't participating in the battle, they were still human. While the Coalition Army had people from the corrupt path, ancient races, and Schwen beasts, who were hostile to them. So they hoped that the Martial Heaven Alliance would win, but things did not bode well for them. Bastards. I'll go all out. The Martial Heaven Alliance's experts shot back to their feet. They raised their weapons once more. No need. Have you forgotten our words? Go comprehend life and death in peace. As long as the Dragonblood Warriors don't fall, no one will be able to touch a single hair on your body, shouted a Dragonblood Warrior. But they it's just a pack of pigs. Nothing to be worried about. Stop wasting time, shouted the Dragonblood Warrior. The blood-colored dragon armor that each of the Dragonblood Warriors was wearing suddenly had divine runes appear on them. Divine light flowed out, connecting all of them. The Dragonblood Warriors had actually activated their spirit blood, which was partially the dragon blood. All of them let out a heaven-shaking roar and started another bout of slaughter. Half of them suddenly knelt while the other half's blades mercilessly fell. As soon as their attacks fell, the dragon scales around the kneeling dragonblood warriors suddenly dimmed. Terrifying rays of light tore through the air. As a result, the experts that had just charged over from the other side were blown apart. This was a shocking attack, one that created thousands of corpses. Half the dragonblood warriors had attacked, while the other half loaned their energy to them, doubling their power. The current Dragonblood Warriors were no longer the old Dragonblood Warriors. They were Dragonblood Warriors in reality as well as name. The evil Dragon Essence Blood had transformed them. When using the Dragon Blood Battle Armor, their power was multiplied by ten times. 
With the assistance of a powerful formation, they were able to send power to each other. Back when Guo Ran had slain that expert from the ancient races, he had borrowed energy from the Dragon Blood Warriors. In front of that terrifying combined power, even a peak expert was slain. The Dragon Blood Legion is present. Surrender or die. Battle intent sword out of the Dragon Blood Warriors. With this one attack, they had emptied the space in front of them. At least a hundred thousand experts had just been slain. The new army of five hundred thousand experts was completely shaken. They had never seen such a terrifying legion. It seems the plan will have to change. Up in the sky, Huo Lian gloomily sent a message to Ziluo and true immortal Jiaoki. I just knew that those idiots from Heavenly Fate Island weren't reliable. They just had to use some stupid scheme and nonsense about waiting for the time to be right. What nonsense. They even said that as long as we could keep Long Chen entangled, they could easily annihilate the Dragon Blood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's trash. Now it looks like we are outplayed like idiots. True Immortal Jiaoki roared furiously. He didn't use a spiritual message, but his actual voice. Their plan had been made by Heavenly Fate Island's four Fate Princes. It had been extremely detailed and looked to be perfect. Most importantly, the mastermind behind this matter was Pill Valley. They were in charge, and they seemed to rely on Heavenly Fate Island's miraculous abilities. That was why these experts had followed the plan of the Fate Princes. However, two of those Fate Princes had been slain by Long Chen. As for the other two Fate Princes, they were hiding in the army not daring to reveal themselves. The three of them had no idea what those two were doing. Their so-called secret army, which was supposed to be able to instantly turn things around, had been turned into a pack of fools by a single attack from the Dragon Blood Legion. The Xuan beasts were innately violent and didn't like these schemes. So true immortal Jiaoki hadn't liked it from the start. However, for the big picture, he had endured it. Now that things were going off script, his temper exploded. What kind of garbage plan was this? He even wondered whether they had worked together with Long Chen to con them. From the start, they had agreed that their main mission was to eliminate the Martial Heaven Alliance and Long Chen's people in the Yun Yang world. The other goal was for them to enter the Golden Tide to comprehend life and death. That was especially important to the Xuan Beasts. The Xuan Beasts weren't human. Although they had tough physical bodies, they weren't close to the heavenly deos. That was why they would transform into human form from the 10th rank. So they could get closer to the heavenly deos. Due to their innate deficit, their comprehension skills were inferior to the human race. That was why he had repeatedly said that whatever plan they went with, it had to guarantee that the Xuan beasts would be able to enter the golden tide when the time came. However, now the golden tide had come, and their secret weapon had been crushed. That new army was at a loss. True immortal Jiaoki wanted to devour them alive. In his fury, he no longer had any misjivings. He directly cursed Heavenly Fate Island's people. Could this idiotic plan go any worse? The two Fate Princes were hiding in the crowd. They had already switched into other disciples' robes and even taken off their Daoist headbands. They were frightened. They had never seen anyone as terrifying as Long Chen. Having personally seen one of their fellow fate princes get killed, their courage was broken. They could calculate life. They could calculate death. But all those calculations only had to do with others. They had to be transcendent figures of the mortal world. That was because if they ever calculated that death was coming for them, they would be more cowardly than anyone. The two of them were hiding, but through some secret communication abilities, they were able to relay orders. As for anything else, that would be up to the heavens. The two of them wanted to run, but they were also afraid that Long Chen would notice them. So they continued to hide in the army. Their plans and arrangements were actually very brilliant. Long Chen's own plans had been thrown into disorder because of them. They had managed to take the initiative. However, the Dragon Blood Legion was far stronger than their predictions. As Long Chen grew stronger, it became more difficult to calculate anything about the people around him. Even calculating anything about the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had been difficult due to their connection to Long Chen. It had taken them many days. Although they had already done their best to give a high estimation of the Dragon Blood Legion, they had still misjudged. The Dragon Blood Legion's power far exceeded their imagination. 
fucking heavenly fate island. I don't care anymore. I'm bringing my people into the golden tide. True immortal Jayaoki finally lost his patience. With a furious roar, he retreated from his battle against Long Chen, charging over to the Dragonblood Legion. He had decided to stop listening to Heavenly Fate Island's plans. He would do things his way. Chapter 1899 The Ice Fairy Translator Born to be true immortal Jayaoki was furious. He had gotten enough of this stupid way of using their troops. He had to win some territory for the Xuan beasts as this opportunity was too important for them. He left the battlefield, going straight toward the Golden Tide. He wanted to create a path for his fellow Xuan beasts. I'm not accompanying you either. Their so-called heaven-peering arts are just a giant joke. Zilua was also gloomy. The incomparably mysterious heavenly fate island, the one claimed to have flawless calculations, had actually come up with such a garbage plan. They might as well have blindly directed the troops. Ziluo left Long Chen to Huo Lian, also creating a chance for the corrupt path's experts. Even if he couldn't obtain that chance, he wouldn't let the righteous path's experts do as they pleased. After all, the corrupt path was the righteous path's mortal enemy. As for the righteous path's connection with Pill Valley, the ancient races, ancient family alliance, Xuan beasts, and Bloodkill Hall. Things could sway in any direction. Today, those powers were working together with the corrupt path against the righteous path. But maybe tomorrow, they would turn on the corrupt path for some profit. There were over 300,000 experts of the righteous path in the golden tide right now. If they lived, then at least half of them would have a high chance of comprehending life and death, allowing them to reach the half-step nether passage realm. If a tenth of those half-step nether passage experts reached the true nether passage realm, then that would be a calamitous blow to the corrupt path. Z Luo was the descendant of the leader of the corrupt path. Z Wentian. He was vicious and had the foresight to know when to be ruthless. With a snap decision in front of him, between Long Chen and the 300,000 experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance, he chose the latter. He knew that there would be many chances to kill Long Chen before he grew up. He still wasn't as great of a threat as the latter. With true immortal Jayaoki losing his mind and acting first, Ziluo followed, abandoning Long Chen to attack the Dragonblood warriors. Long Chen smiled mockingly, taking a breath. He was about to stop them when rumbling rang out. The ground exploded, and a giant willow tree appeared in front of true immortal Jayaoki and Ziluo. Luruian had come. As for the Bloodkill Hall's divine emissary that had been trapped in her branches, he had forever disappeared from this world. Trapped in her cage, no one had been able to help him. Despite unleashing countless powerful moves, the only thing left for him had been death. After killing the divine emissary, Luruian had immediately gone to help Chu Yao. Chu Yao had been in a deadlock with the twelve experts of the Flame Divine Palace. Those twelve experts had formed a formation to trap her within. As a result, Chu Yao had summoned an endless tide of wooden stakes to fight them. Originally, flame cultivators would have an advantage over wood cultivators, but Chu Yao's wood contained metal energy as well, and due to her resonance with the undying willow, her wooden stakes had also become extremely tough. They had an innate fire resistance. As a result, both sides had entered a battle of attrition. The result of such a battle was obvious. Their defeat would have only been a matter of time. Although they were twelve powerful Empyreans whose manifestations had started to awaken, whether it was in terms of their total spiritual Yuan capacity or their recovery rate, they couldn't compete with Chu Yao, a genius with a wood spirit body. Chu Yao had roots in the ground, drawing out an unending stream of energy from the world. She was able to fight evenly against these twelve. In other words, once their spiritual Yuan was exhausted, she would still have plenty of energy. That was why once Lu Ruian came to help her, Chu Yao told her to go help Long Chen. Although Lu Ruian didn't like Long Chen, this wasn't a time for pettiness. She went to reinforce him, resulting in her arriving as true immortal Jayaoki and Chu Aluo attacked the Dragonblood Legion. Willow branches devoured them. It was like a sea of deathly tentacles. Scram. True immortal Jayaoki roared. The Killin figure in his manifestation rumbled as he brought out his Killin power. Die. Ziluo also shouted, and a blood red crescent moon blade appeared in his hand. 
When he slashed it, the sky turned red. Boom. Luruian's branches were blown apart. Even Luruian herself was sent flying. Divine marks appeared in the air as terrifying fluctuations spread. Ruian, watch out. Long Chen suddenly let out a cry. He saw Ziluo's manifestation tremble, and a familiar aura appeared. Corpse puppet divine ceiling art. The sky suddenly dimmed. Over a thousand corpse puppets descended from it, enveloping Luruian. Those corpse puppets extended their hands, unleashing a stream of runes that wrapped around Luruian. It was a similar move to what had sealed Long Chen before. However, the seal was ten times stronger. After all, that time, Ziluo had only brought out 108 corpse puppets. In truth, Ziluo was just as infuriated as true immortal Jayaoki. So many disciples of the corrupt path had died here because they had trusted the idiots from Heavenly Fate Island. Now, he no longer wanted to hide his power. He wanted to shake his opponents. To show the dominating power of the corrupt path. He wanted to slay Luruian in one move. Luruian was startled. This seal was completed far too quickly. And there was no time for her to dodge. Runes trembled across her body as she attempted to break the seal. Die. True immortal Jayaoki's kill and halberd came piercing toward her. If it struck her in her vitals. Then despite being an undying willow. She would be heavily injured. She might even die. However. Just as true immortal Jayaoki's halberd was about to pierce Luruian's body, the temperature suddenly dropped. All the experts involuntarily shivered. An ice sword blocked the Killin halberd. That seemingly unstoppable attack was stopped in the air just like that. An ice lotus bloomed rapidly on the tip of the ice sword. Even space was being frozen. As a result, everything within hundreds of miles was sealed with ice. What is this? Startled cries rang out from the experts. Just what kind of power was this? It's her. Long Chen's voice quivered slightly as he looked at that giant ice flower. He knew these spiritual fluctuations. It was her. Definitely her. The ice flower also enveloped Luruian, as well as the corpse puppets. Those corpse puppets were turned into ice sculptures. They then shattered, transforming into crystalline bits that sparkled in the sunlight. With the corpse puppets destroyed, Luruian regained her freedom. She hastily fell back, staring in shock at that slender figure in front of her. Break. True immortal Jayaoki was also frozen. With a furious roar, his killin halberd trembled, blowing away the ice crystals. From within those endless ice crystals, people finally saw a figure. She was lithe and graceful. Her body looked like it had been carved from jade, and her long black hair fell naturally to her waist. Her robes were as white as snow. Her eyes looked like gemstones, while her face seemed like it had been carved to be the epitome of beauty. She was like a fairy that had walked out of a painting. However, this peerlessly beautiful fairy was too cold. There wasn't the slightest emotion on her face. She truly looked like a statue. Snow and ice crystals slowly fell from the sky. The sunny weather seemed to have changed due to the descent of an ice goddess. The divine ice palaces. Ice fairy. Dot. Yis Hikyu. A name appeared in almost everyone's minds. Only a few of them had ever seen Yis Hikyu, but everyone had heard rumors that the Divine Ice Palace had produced an ice fairy who was practically a transcendent being. Seeing this woman who was like a sculpture, that name automatically appeared in everyone's mind. Zhikyu, we finally meet again. Long Chen smiled, his eyes reddening. He would never forget the first and final smile Yi's Hikyu had given him as she lay in his arms in the Jiuli secret realm. Sisters Hikyu, Tang Wanner and the others also let out excited cries. The slightest trace of warmth appeared in Yi's Hikyu's icy eyes. She nodded toward everyone. Sorry for being late. Let's handle these enemies first before reminiscing Yi's Hikyu. Is your divine ice palace planning on interfering in our personal enmities? Demanded true immortal Jayaoki. I am not here representing the Divine Ice Palace. I only represent myself. I, Yis Hikyu, am also a member of the Dragonblood Legion. Yis Hikyu's announcement caused countless expressions to change. They had never heard that Yis Hikyu was a member of the Dragonblood Legion. This piece of news was absolutely shocking. I don't care who you represent. Anyone who blocks me shall die. True immortal Jayaoki was in no mood for this. The golden tide would only be present for a short time, so he couldn't tarry. 
Leave this big fellow to me, Lu Ruyan struck first. Having communicated with Chu Yao, she knew who Yi Zhikia was. Although Yi Zhikia was a rare ice cultivator, she was facing one of the strongest experts of the junior generation. One against two, it was unlikely she could win. Hence, Lu Ruyan chose to fight true immortal Jiaoki. Although he was extremely powerful, she was confident in being able to stall him. On the other hand, Zi Luo clearly had a slight advantage over Lu Ruyan, so she left him to Yi Zhikyu. After that, Yi Zhikyu nodded and went to block Zi Luo's path. Zi Luo snorted, a cruel smile suddenly appearing on his face. He slowly raised his crescent moon blade and slowly cut his tongue on it. His blood flowed onto the blade. The crescent moon blade suddenly seemed to come to life, and boundless killing intent surged out of it. With a shout, Zi Luo slashed his blade at Yi Zhikyu. Chapter 1908 I Spirit Body Translator Born to be the crescent moon blade's runes lit up, roaring like a resentful spirit. With this slash, it was like a thousand ghouls were wailing. This was a corrupt weapon with an extremely terrifying origin. It had slain countless numbers of lives and had refined the souls of countless resentful spirits. It had concentrated all that resentful and killing intent. The reason Lu Ruyan chose to fight true immortal Jiaoki was majorly because of this blade. Its aura made her feel sick. Today I'll get to experience just how powerful the heavenly corrupt blood blade that shakes the corrupt path is. Yi Zhikyu's expression was still icy. She slowly raised her sword that fluctuated like it was made of water. When it moved, the space behind her shook. Her manifestation appeared. Her manifestation was an endless world of ice and snow. Within the gorges and mountains of snow and ice, there was a sacred and holy palace. The palace was indistinct, but it still emitted a grand divine might. The temperature plummeted, and snow began drifting from the sky. The entire battlefield was affected. Yi Zhikyu made a simple swing of her blade. A bolt of energy condensed in the air. That energy instantly grew, becoming a giant blade that slashed towards Zi Luo. That wasn't Sword Chi but her terrifying ice energy that had condensed into a giant ice sword. What Zi Luo was shocked. Even with all his experience, he had never seen such terrifying ice energy. The light from his blade intensified. Boom. The entire world shuddered, as ice shards flew in every direction. Zi Luo rapidly retreated. His hair was covered in frost, and even the hand holding his blade was quivering. Frost was condensing on it as well. How terrifying. So this is the innate ice spirit body. Practically, no one can block it. Chi Fengsu looked at Yi Zhikia with shock. The innate ice spirit body existed only in legend. Such geniuses might not appear even once every 10,000 years. Zi Luo's impudence had resulted in him suffering an injury in the first place. Fortunately, his sense of danger had alerted him, and just as he was struck by that sword, he activated the full power of his manifestation, allowing him to escape calamity. Yi Zhikyu's ice energy was no ordinary ice energy. It was something that could directly freeze a person's Yuan spirit. If his Yuan spirit was frozen, then Zi Luo would die here no matter how many lives he had. That was the terror of the ice spirit body. When Yi Zhikia was brought to the northern source by an expert, all that had been known was that she possessed an ice constitution that made her a rare genius at cultivating ice techniques. In the northern source, Yi Zhikia had been an outstanding genius, but it was only once she was sent to the Central Plains Divine Ice Palace that they realized she didn't just possess an ice constitution but an innate ice spirit body that had not been seen in tens of thousands of years. This kind of ice spirit body was extremely rare. In fact, it existed only in legend. It was not something that should exist. The ice spirit body could be split between innate and acquired ice spirit bodies. Acquired ice spirit bodies were created by modifying the spirit root. Through much pain and trouble, it was possible to make a person possess an ice spirit body. However, the failure rate was extremely high. So even an acquired ice spirit body was very rarely seen. As for an innate ice spirit body, it meant possessing ice energy within the fetus during the pregnancy. That was essentially impossible. After all, if something as weak as a fetus was touched with the slightest ice G, they would simply die in the uterus. Even powerful cultivators, even if both mother and father possessed ice constitutions, 
it was impossible for them to give birth to an innate eye spirit body. This was something that had been confirmed through years of research and experiments. It was unknown how many babies had died because of that impossible dream. In the end, people had concluded that the innate eye spirit body could only be born by the heavens. It was impossible to make one. That was why when it was learned that Jis Hikyu possessed an eye spirit body, the entire Divine Ice Palace was shaken. However, the Divine Ice Palace had not widely announced it. They only revealed that they now possessed an eye spirit body while leaving out the innate part of it. Before Yi's Hikyu, the Divine Ice Palace had already possessed three disciples with an eye spirit body. Adding in Yi's Hikyu made four, so she hadn't appeared too amazing. However, now that Yi's Hikyu was fighting in front of others, Ziluo's rashness had almost resulted in him losing his life. He shivered. Yi's Hikyu's sword slashed through the air. As a result, ice crystals condensed in the sky, looking like the celestial river of stars. Ziluo let out a shout, and a giant figure appeared in Ziluo's manifestation. He actually threw his blade into that figure's hand. His blade rapidly grew to match that figure, and after grabbing it, that figure grew much more solid. It actually walked out of Ziluo's manifestation and swung the giant blade. Boom! The blade sliced through the air, shattering Yi's Hikyu's ice crystals. At the same time, it became possible to see that figure's face. It was actually a 30,000 meter blood colored skeleton that was covered in scarlet runes. Wielding the crescent moon blade, it looked like a fiend that had crawled out of hell. Rumor is that Ziluo possesses the evil spirit body and can summon some terrifying life forms. This giant skeleton definitely isn't something that should exist in our world, said one of the experts of the neutral camp gravely. The giant skeleton was emitting a blood colored glow that warped the space around it resulting in Yi's Hikyu's ice crystals being unable to freeze it. Ziluo was standing on the skeleton's head, directing it to attack Yi's Hikyu. Yi's Hikyu repeatedly slashed with her sword, unleashing ice crystals that were like giant swords, blocking the skeleton. As Yi's Hikyu and her ice domain blocked the giant skeleton, an endless sea of branches tied down a berserk true immortal Jayaoki. True immortal Jayaoki was roaring angrily. His kill and halberd was blazing with divine light, and each attack shattered a mass of the branches. However, Luruian had too many of those branches, and each branch that was destroyed was replaced. True immortal Jayaoki was unable to charge through her blockade, causing him to become frantic. If they were competing in terms of true power, perhaps Luruian might be weaker than true immortal Jayaoki, but blocking him for a while was not difficult. She had absorbed a portion of the primal chaos divine elixir and finished refining it. That had caused her to transform. Life and death energy flowed through her branches, making them strong enough to crush ordinary divine items. True immortal Jayaoki tried several times to bypass Luruian but failed. Hence, he sent a secret order to other experts to go around and attack the Martial Heaven Alliance. He understood that if things continued like this, the Xuan beasts would be unable to comprehend life and death energy. If that was the case, then no one should have that chance. He wanted to interrupt the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples from comprehending it. All the other leaders were also telling their people to start an assault. If they couldn't have this opportunity to comprehend life and death, then no one else could. Attack all out. If we can't get it, we definitely won't let these idiots from the Martial Heaven Alliance get it roared one of the Xuan beasts. The experts of the coalition army began unleashing powerful attacks. They activated their divine items, launching long-range attacks at the Dragonblood warriors. The Dragonblood Legion was now facing the fierce attacks of the expert from Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the Xuan beasts. The Dragonblood Legion had shifted into a defensive formation. So these experts didn't need to worry about their own safety. They unleashed their strongest attacks. Close to a million experts attacked at the same time. The light of divine items was like a starry river crashing down on the Dragonblood Legion. Cracks quickly appeared on the barrier that the Dragonblood warriors had created. They roared, unleashing their full power. It could be said that this barrier was extremely terrifying. It had gathered the power of over 12,000 Dragonblood warriors including the power of their dragon blood. 
that had raised its defensive power to a shocking level. However, despite how powerful it was, it was now facing the attacks of almost a million divine items. The Dragonblood warriors were outnumbered by almost a hundred times. Furthermore, these enemies didn't need to worry about defense. They launched their strongest offensive moves, so the barrier was starting to fail. Fuck, who cares about life and death energy? I can't understand this crap no matter what, so I'm going to kill instead. Suddenly, Bao Buping stood up with an angry howl. With the noises coming from the battle outside, there was no way he could calm himself down to meditate. He actually charged out of the barrier, attacking. The Dragonblood Legion's barrier only prevented those on the outside from getting in. It didn't stop those inside from getting out. As a result, Bao Buping charged straight out. Fucking trash. Return my brother's lives. As soon as Bao Buping left, Chang Hao charged out as well. Two broadswords unleashed two giant sword images that slashed toward their enemies. The experts on the other side were in the midst of launching all-out attacks when the two of them suddenly appeared. Without any resistance, their attacks created two large openings in the coalition army. It was unknown just how many experts died in that one moment. There's us as well. The rest of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples charged out. They were all still filled with hatred. How could they possibly calm down and meditate? Following the example of the two of them, they also launched powerful attacks. What was unexpected though was that it wasn't just the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples that came out. Other disciples followed them. My talent and comprehension skills are only average. I'd rather give this opportunity to my fellow brothers and sisters. I don't ask you for anything in return. All I want is for you to slaughter these despicable fellows once you're stronger. If you do, I'll be able to smile in the Nine Springs. A rank 9 celestial shouted as he followed. His shout caused everyone's expressions to change. They were using their own lives to win more time for the more talented people. However, he didn't even know who those people were. He was doing this for strangers. It wasn't long before that disciple was slain by an attack from an ancient race expert. His scarlet blood turned the sky red. It also reddened the eyes of those who saw it. Damnable coalition army. I'll go all out with you. That one disciple's death was the one stone that created huge ripples. Over half the disciples inside the barrier actually charged out, their eyes completely red. Kill. Kill them all.